Uh, we live? Seems good. Uh, we live? Seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we are starting to set up our new outpost at Plato. Uh, even though it's still full of biters. But we should be able to take this island without having to clear the entire 9,000 radius planet. Um, so where are we up to? I was letting the bots do a bunch of this while I was doing some design work last time. Twisty P, fat boy not so slim, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's this bot doing? It's hovering with a robopod. Interesting choice. What's this purple stuff on the map? Oh, it's like literally 18 raw rare metals that could be mined. <laughs> okay then. It looks like a like a ghost, an, a, an item ghost. Let's go, indeed. Good morning, Twisty P. As promised, laser artillery still the plan. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can, uh, we can do a little bit of that. Where's my accumulator supply? Accumulator, accumulator. There we go. I finished my new asteroid cards. It's working. I just need to fully automate asteroid belt probe data. Nice. Yeah, this uh, this playthrough, I want to keep it going a bit longer um, to really refine everything, get rid of all the old builds eventually. Uh, and see what sort of... What, why are you like this? Uh, see what sort of throughput we can get in the end. Um... Yeah, there we go. Accumulators. Did I already place all the solar panels? Looks like it. Fantastic. Whoops. Oh yeah, every time we place that blueprint, the bots are going to try to place all the... Huh, it looks like you... Wait, wait, wait. I can't place scaffolding on top of this, but it looks like I can. What are you doing? Uh, it looks like I can place plating on top of it, for the sake of the look. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Um, where are we going? Let's get ourselves some... Um... Some big ol' cannons. And I need a single big requester chest. Why are the bots not placing it? Oh, they are. They're just being weird about it. Yeah, they're being oddly slow to respond right now. Do I have a giant build somewhere with a bunch of ghosts? That I've forgotten about? Because this is pretty weird how slow the bots are being to to build this stuff. Is this set to central dispatch? This is time. Need 
need some space belt. Some battery charging packs. Various chests. I wish we could, uh, I wish it would auto sort or we at least had a sort button or something for this. Um, chests and chests and I think we need some small requesters. Umbrella goes here. Forgot to add it to the blueprint. About here. How many more bots are hovering like this? I really don't want to leave any behind. Oh yeah, I need the space underground belts. Let's get some batteries as well while we're at it. Active provider chests. And apparently I didn't pick up enough uh, lamps or storage chests. Where are the storage chests? Do we not have them? Huh. No, there's, there's 50 storage chests somewhere. In this logistic network. Apparently. I don't think they're in this container though? Let's see. No, they're in here somewhere. Um... Do you see them? Oh, there they are. Fantastic. Fraser K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. V uh, we Carbon, welcome in. Middle of the big one, indeed. I need a bunch of inserters. Um, I believe they're in this chest. Oh, and there's one more needy defense still. Did I not pick up the storage warehouses? I could have sworn I picked up this. That's a strong box. Okay. And we need some vanilla train stops. Uh, some active provider chests. Well, 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 nope, 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 nope. I don't want it. I don't want to. I don't want to go into orbit by myself. Where are they? Active providers. And why the hell are there particle accelerators and such in here? Oh, I think I remember. I'm pretty sure there's one more item I'm forgetting. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember. I remember. One big gun, please. Is it not here? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Cool. Uh, and two passives and a big passive. Oops. Oops. How big is my personal RoboPort range? Yeah, that's about what I thought. Um, there we 
we go. Passive provider. I'm gonna need to empty this thing out at some point. Preferably next time I go back. What's this? One more passive provider. Cool. Have we finished physically placing this stuff? There's another hovering bot. Yep, back in my belly. And there's one over here as well. Like, oh, that's why I can't see them on the map. When did this get toggled off? There we go. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, let's get some robots going over here. And over here. Get some ammo. Wait, wait first, let's get the charging started. Uh, I should have more Logibots. That's a lot of Logibots, actually. Where did they go? In here. Alright. Uh, I guess I need to get started on changing all the signals and stuff. Wait, at first I want to get well, everything except for the space elevator cables, because once we get this thing started, it will be consuming. Um... I don't think the space elevator itself is in danger for now. It doesn't make any pollution or anything. Oh, we need to place the ammo. It's next priority. Okay. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Just enough space. Fantastic. Oh, and I wanted to... Wait, weren't we putting more Logibots? Yeah, we are. It's automatic. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um... Alright, so let's start from the top. What kind of core fragments are we getting from here? Holmanite. So this needs to say... Core fragment Holmanite. Are these actually the same setting? Yeah, we can just copy that. Core fragment Holmanite. Um, I think all of that is generic. Don't need to touch any of this. This needs to request Holmanite core fragments. Uh, and it needs to have our. We're going. We're not going via Foenestra this time, right? I think it's a moon orbit 1180. Yeah, this is Stromhurst. Uh, we're going straight, straight back home, which I believe is moon orbit 1180. It is. So that's going to be zero. That's going to be 1180. Fantastic. Um, and we don't really need this part, but that should be fine. What is the ID that we need um, for dropping off Holmanite core fragments? Let's see. 15. Okay. So if anchor to target left clamp equals 15, pass it through to the memory cell. This will be 14 plus 1 when this condition is met. Um, these two core fragments need to be Hormonite. This needs to be Hormonite. Although it is just for d the display, I think. 
No, it's for more than just the display. This one, I'm pretty sure, is just for the display. And... That should be Core Fragment Hall Night, and we're almost done. Okay, so local address goes here, right? Planet Orbit... 689. And we're not going via Phonestra, and this is all the stuff that we're requesting. And we'll pass through the number of core fragments that we've got available for pickup. Let's go and check on our last outpost. The steel this logic right here. And that needs to be core fragment hormonite. Uh, this needs to be the local address, planet orbit 689. And that should basically be it. Let me just double check. That should be green wire to here. Yes. I won't connect that. I'll, I'll connect that last. I think this goes red wire and green wire. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, indeed. Cool. Um... And then I guess we can send this through. It won't actually... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, I forgot I need to... You know what? Just in case, I'm going to remove what might be on this memory cell. Because uh, I need to check and make sure that we're setting this to the correct time. What was our most recent outpost? I don't think it was Bombato Orbit, was it? Maybe? Time equals 45. Time equals 35. 45 is winning. Pretty sure these are some of our oldest ones. I'm, I'm just going to check them all. I really don't want a mistake here. 45 is highest. Forty. Shift N is quicker. What's this guy up to? Oh, it's not full. That makes sense. Twenty and this should be fifteen. Cool, so 45 is highest, which means we need 50. And I'll just double check, but I'm quite sure that this goes up to at least 60. Yes, it does. I'll have to increase it in a little bit. Suggestion, add a constant combinator at the dispatch that stores what time blocks you've used, that's a good idea. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me just place one of these over here where it'll get built. It's going to cause the entire thing to get reset, but what are you going to do? So we're up to 50 now. I'm going to cut that, paste it over here, and that information is going to be there uh, even before we build it. Right, so only on tick 50 do we send everything through. And that should do it. It's on the other end that it will ignore it if we don't have at least 9,000 core fragments. Which I think 
means it doesn't go through to the memory cells, so I needn't have worried. Um, but still. Alright. Are we just about ready? How much power do we have? 3.2 gigawatt. Seems good. Let's grab some laser artillery. Probably more than we need. We've got 50 laser turrets as well. Should probably set a switch to power armor, which is a little bit of a mess at the moment. Hmm. Um, I guess I could steal the power pack from, from the thruster suit. Ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. Why is it so disorganized? Is this really all the armor I've got? I don't really want to use the shield generator. It'll drain me when I go slower. I mean faster. A couple of big personal batteries for the lasers. Fine. Big cool, uh, full guard. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Blue lightning, welcome in also. Good day to you as well. 50 and then add next signal. Otherwise, uh, we won't be sure if it's last or next. I guess we can do that. Um, where's our construction train? Or rather, is it fully loaded again yet? Or rather, does it have constant combinators? That's all I really care about right now. We can interrupt it. That's one of the good things about this design. Okay. Um, I've got destroy capsules. I've got a hundred and uh, three hundred megajoules of battery charge. 2.4 megawatt per second, or rather 2.4 megawatt. This can drain 10 megawatt. And it's actually incredibly... Personal defenses are so disappointing in this. Crestorio 2, that's the only thing I'm not enjoying with this playthrough. How, how nerfed the power armor combat stuff is because of the energy demands. Um, why do I have crushed vulcanite in my inventory? Need to go sort that out at some point. Not going to need any space belt right now. Um, in fact, just get rid of all the belt and inserters and stuff. Oh, right, I forgot. We need to... Uh, we need to get the spellevator cables going. It'll actually take a little while before this thing's ready to go. 1853, just to get started. Ouchie. How many did I bring? I think it's like 3,000. So more than half. Yeah, we, we brought 3,000. Damn. It's kind of rough. Maybe I should send this thing back. I think I will do that. Then we'll bring it back here while I wait. Uh, I 
I do have life support, right? Uh oh. Um. I have a minute of life support. No, that's a bad idea. Bring it back. Come back. No. Plato orbit. Plato orbit. I've got 48 seconds before I start suffocating. I've got 50 used up life support canisters. They're not doing me much good right now. Yeah, I don't think we're getting uh, down to the surface in 30 seconds. Alright, where's our ship? Anchor again, please. And I hope there's some life support in here. There should be. I don't see it. Um... Life support canister. We don't have any right now. Let's go back to Hagen orbit ourselves. And then we'll come back here. It's fine. It's fine. Whoopsie, at least I noticed. Alright, what's our ETA? Um, seven and a half minutes ish before we get back to Hagen orbit. And then I'm gonna have. Actually, can I. I probably shouldn't do it while the ship's in motion. But I'm pretty sure I could, like. Cut this and paste it right on top of where it is, and the bots will automatically empty it and put it back um, once we get there. But I feel a little bit sketchy about having that happen across surfaces, so so we'll wait. Now, what were we? Let me turn this off because I want to jump into the editor. Um, what were we designing last? Oh, that's right, we did the canisters, which, uh, worked out quite well. Oh? We don't have superconductive cable. That's weird. All of these have a hundred, a couple of hundred products finished each. Oh, I wonder if exactly one trainload of superconductive cable makes exactly one trainload of magnetic canisters. Stack size 50, one to one, stack size 50. Yeah, that's why there's literally nothing here right now. Even though they have made stuff. Cool. Uh, I wish more stuff could work like that. That's neat. It's very tidy. And here we are turning the magnetic canisters into matter containment data. Very good. How's our power while these things are running? Just saw it flicker to beyond maximum for a second there. Maybe we need more accumulators. Not for the amount of charge, but just for the speed at which they output power. But you would think all these... Condenser turbines would be good enough for that. They probably are. They probably just went... Hmm. Then why did I see it hit maximum? Hmm. How much power are we drawing from those? 420, 30, 40, 50... It's 
actually steadily climbing right now. 469 megawatt? 500? Why is it going up right now? How much power we're getting from the steam turbines? Or condenser turbines? Now it's back down a little bit. Yeah, you can see those very tall, very narrow spikes. I believe that's when a train goes through the space elevator. Oh, there's one. Yeah, there's actually two spikes when it does that. This is why I built a bunch of accumulators. Good evening, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Budgie Bum, welcome in. Hey, T Hacks, I don't know if you went back to it or not, but I'm pretty sure when you were updating to Purple Belt on the core fragments, the right side of the crushes had not upgraded. Which core fragments? Um, was that the purple ones? No? Uh, I vaguely remember what you mean, I think. Somewhere around here we were upgrading things to purple belt. Was it Holmanite core fragments? Hmm... That's stack size 20, so we could definitely set that a bit lower. Uh, do you know which one, which block we're, we're on about here? I think Iridium. Iridium core fragments? Iridium core fragments, uh... Oh, this is the one where we were trying to get rid of the old... Wait, no? What? What? Wait, what? How did... What? What? Did you... Man, what's going on here? You requested 60,000 sulfuric acid. Our target in this container is only 100k, which is to only have it half full. How did this get over-requested? Uh, I guess I need to... Add... I want to put this somewhere I can... Somewhere I can easily remove it in a little bit. Let's put a pump here. So we can reverse it. Two K per second. That is very slowly emptying. Oh, it's taking it from this side as well, of course. That makes sense. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, up, up. There we go. And push this back this way. I I honestly have no idea how that happened, which concerns me. I know there's a wire missing here. It doesn't actually make a difference. Because we're not requesting the fluid on this side. It's just uh, in case the train limit here doesn't allow the drop-off. People in the right container missing. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter though. Dodger, welcome in. Um, are we almost home? One minute. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what was I doing? 
Oh yeah, looking at the canisters and such. So we got that build done. And I believe this is the last data card. Yeah, 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 we've got, uh... Or well, we, we soon, theoretically, will have matter catalogs. I think. Matter liberation data, matter containment data. This is containment. And I think this is liberation. Yeah, and that's waiting on material testing packs, which is waiting on purple stuff, which we used to have infinite of, and now apparently... It, it, it's, it's always all or nothing with this stuff. We always have more than we can ever consume, or we apparently have zero. Um, I've never seen it sort of chugging along at just kind of a decent pace. Brains aren't unloading the core fragments? Yeah, I know, because they were blocked. Unless you're talking... Oh. Now what? Oh, it's the bloody train limit again? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'd been meaning to do this at one of the other blocks. I'm just going to add a constant combinator here. And we're going to have an arbitrary minimum. Uh, train limit? Well, no. Uh, not arbitrary minimum. We're going to say... Well, I could, I could output, like, a different signal, but it doesn't matter. The, the point is that the train limit is much greater than one, this, this version of things. As long as there's room to drop off, we're basically saying train limit is no, no train limit. It's just a way to enable or disable the station. I, I don't actually want to tell it that only... How? Why are you here? The... Is this how many trains were queued up here? Do we have another block like this? Maybe it was supposed to deliver over here and it had a train limitation. That's probably it. That's probably it. It's one block influencing the other. They're trying to deliver to the other... They're, tr they're trying to deliver sulfuric acid to the other block, and then the train limit isn't high enough. So the train that's parked there can't unload because the station is dibs by another train. Uh, and then it tries to go and drop off at the other train stop. Annoying. There we go. That might actually bring some of those fluid wagons over here. Actually, hold up. Put that back in. I want to take it over to this block. Do we have any more fluid wagons that are going to deliver sulfuric acid here? Doesn't look like it. No, I think we're good. Oh, it's already full? Fantastic. Let's go... No, not there. Go over here, please. And then drop off at the nearest one of those stations. That should work. Now, what's your problem? This is actually full. That's your problem. Why are you here if it's actually full, though? If core fragments below 6k output, train limit, no limit. 
Are they trying to unload at a wrong station with the same name? Yes, that's what happened. At least it makes sense now. Um, we've got the signals. That's not why... Why are you... Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. So this one's train limit is... Is it... This, this dance is getting a little bit annoying. Am I not outputting... No, I'm not. That's the problem. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Park here, manually. Wait for empty. Perfect. Fantastic. Are we good now? This one's just taking its sweet time getting loaded up on dirty water. It's actually taking a lot longer than I would have thought to load these things. Meanwhile, what if we had a train waiting for enriched copper? Maybe I should split the pickup stations here. Well, it doesn't seem to be a problem right now, and I'll want to redesign this with the higher tier chemical plants anyway. Relaxaholic, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why ain't those crushers operation if the station is full? Uh, because the output is saturated, I think. Uh-oh. That's not the saturated output that I was hoping for. Um, Are you empty now? Yeah, go back to depot. Do we not have... We've got a hundred stacks here, obviously. High priority pickup. Do we need more blocks to process vanilla core fragments? Oh, we do. Well, that's kind of good. Yeah, we actually need another block to keep up with uh, vanilla core fragments. That are coming out as a side effect from the other types of core fragment. That's kind of excellent. Um, where should we put it, though? And do I need to update this build in any way? I think I can just give it the modern power pulse. Well, why don't I bring it into the editor? And we'll have a thorough inspection. And while that's happening, uh, I want to cut, paste this storehouse, and that way the bots will empty it, and then they'll put it back. And then whatever random stuff is not supposed to be in there will not be in there, and we might even get the contents somewhat sorted. Oh, I forgot. I think my character disappears from this realm when I go to the editor. Um... So let me just put this stuff in here. Deal with that later. Probably never. Alright, back to the editor. Um, that's not what I was expecting to see. Oh, wait. I need to muck around with this not at the space block. Alright. Um, I'm really not 
that fussed about the windmills at this point. And let's get rid of the old power poles. I'm pretty sure there's nothing, there's no information like circuit wire information getting transmitted across the old power poles, I believe. Is everything powered? Not quite. And this pipe is just in the way. What if I just didn't have this here? It actually works because the K2 pipe to ground has a lot more range. Uh, is it a problem though? These. It actually is a problem. These don't get where they're supposed to go if I don't have this. Whoops. Hmm. I don't want to have to put this in off center. I could redesign this for higher tier modules, but I'd rather just get it built as quickly as possible this time. Did I include that in the last blueprint by accident? It's entirely possible. What did I make last? Oh no, it was uh, it was this, wasn't it? Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, uh, let's copy this. And decide where we want to put it. So we've got core fragment processing blocks here. Here, 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 up here. They don't really um, produce the vanilla core fragments quickly or anything. 3.8 per second. It does take a while for a train load to fill. So I don't think we have to worry too much about placement for this one. That said, uh, this is probably a pretty good spot. Where did I leave my construction train? Let's have it do a lap or three. Well, I can queue up two laps with the way this schedule works. Unless I want to wait for it to leave this one, and then I can queue up another one. Actually, no. Whatever. It's fine. Actually, I think I know a way that I could do that. No, I was thinking of giving it a temporary stop where would it would park exactly here. But I think if it didn't count as stopping, uh, it probably wouldn't count as stopping at the station itself. So we wouldn't get a read of what's in the train. I need a couple of warehouses, which I think I removed the request for earlier. There we go. Oh, and look at all these trains coming in already. I guess that shouldn't be a surprise. That's at least three train loads of vanilla core fragments that were just waiting to be dropped off, holding up all of the other types. Four, five, six. Okay, this was a bigger problem than I realized. Seven. So here we've got about six K, and this is eight K. 
10,000. Okay. We haven't finished building this thing, and 10,000 uh, vanilla core fragments have been dropped off. I don't think we're going to have to go too far out of our way to get iron, copper, etc. Just a, just a hunch I have. Alright, we need more blue belt. It'll probably all get finished the next time the train comes. We really need to get these things moving, so I think I'll pay it some attention. What kind of, uh... I had stone over here for the floor, but I don't really like the look of that. What kind of floor should I have for the core fragment builds? Have I put, have I put the floor behind any of them yet? Strangely enough, no, unless you count the stone. Hmm. Let's jump into the editor. And we can see real quick. I don't think uh, I don't think refined concrete is the way to go. Let's try regular concrete. If I would say that's an improvement. How about stone brick? Maybe my money's on black reinforced plate. Oh yeah, that looks nicer. And uh, I haven't once preferred the look of this, but we'll try it. Yeah, nah. Alright, black reinforced plate. Go. Seems good. And is it in the train already? It is. This is like our only train left that uses regular locomotives. A relic of the past. Where am I building this thing? Here it is. And wait for a significant amount of inactivity. Did we get this built? Looks like the answer is yes. Okay. So we just doubled our four fragment processing. I would have thought the line would be straighter and more obvious that we've doubled it, but I guess the recipe is slow. And we don't have that many machines doing it. So it looks very, uh, very wavy, very spotty. I kind of want to do a redesign of this for maximum tier modules for the fun of it now. I say fun, but like, the vanilla core fragments are by far the biggest headache. <laughs> No less than six different solids coming out and four different fluids. I don't know how much more compact... I don't think we can get more than ten machines under a white area beacon, at least not inside a half block. Yeah, who knows, this may actually be the final version if we just add some purple belts if necessary. Hmm. I have to admit, I was not entirely expecting that. Alright. You may go. And this is more... Vanilla core fragments. Beautiful. Uh, 
the blue belt i know it's like 47 of course it dips the moment i say that i, I know it's like 40s ups but the blue belts look so slow now um now that i'm used to the purple ones why do we have some purple belt that are actually in motion here we are When they're full and moving at full speed, it tends to look like things are moving backward. Oh, and here comes more blast cake. Fantastic. Um, I wonder how our Iridium is doing. Not that well, apparently. How much of a dip did it take? Because we didn't notice that mistake for a while. Not that bad, actually. Surprisingly enough. Alright, alright, alright. This thing's refilled, and about as organized as it's ever going to get, which is to say, not at all. Um, may I have some life support? Thank you. Why do I have a bunch of mag canisters? Did I finish with this already? I think I did. Yeah. I wish I could come up to a sol come up to come up with a solution to prevent the bots in the cargo wagons from doing things as a priority when there's something in range here. I thought of trying to detect like when the train wants to leave, put some bots in or something, but I don't know if there's the tools to do that in Factorio. Uh, now the question is, should you build another vanilla core fragment block? We'll soon find out. Train after train coming in, what a backlog indeed. You should do a stack request for the construction train for life support. Um, save the trip for next time. Stack request for the construction train. Well, the construction ship. Is that the one you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it did have the request for it. Um, somewhere. Did I remove it? Or... I thought it was in the big container. Nope, apparently not. How about this then? That's not life support. Don't be fooled by cheap imposters. Actually, by very expensive imposters. Okay. Back we go to... Was it Palto? It wasn't actually Plato, was it? I think it is. Seven point... Uh, seven and a third minutes, yeah. Oh, wait, what? What? Wait a minute, what? Why is there an Iron Hauler leaving Plato? Uh, I'm very confused. What are you doing? It shouldn't have been able to even request a ship yet. Um, and how did it take off from here? Well, I think I know how it took off. It's because it detected that it was empty of core fragments. Because it shouldn't be allowed to come here unless... This sends red wire to central dispatch. 
Redwire at Central Dispatch says, if anything is greater than 9,000, pass everything through to fill this memory cell if it's not full already. Oh, that reminds me, I need to make a shortcut for this. Alpha Kenai, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, outpost pickup. Or how do, how do I still not remember which type of core fragments this is supposed to be? Hormonite, right? Core fragment, hormonite, no hotkey. There we go. Yeah, nothing. Nothing this is receiving is above nine thousand, so it shouldn't. It should have been ignored by Central. So how the hell did we send a ship here? It. Hmm, I was gonna say maybe it detected something from in the robot network, if it was connected to this ship. But I don't think we've got anything... Oh, we've got 19,000 space platform scaffold. Maybe that was it. I thought I parked it somewhere... where these robot networks wouldn't connect, but maybe... Maybe, maybe... Would that have even been... Read logistic network contents, that goes to the green wire. Green wire goes here. And into this. If core fragment hormonite greater than zero, output red. If red equals zero, output every. I'm confused. Uh, each times negative one, so that subtracts what's in the robot network going into here. So that we can compare it with this stuff. So we should have a big negative number for... Hormonite. Or fragments. If red signal equals zero, output everything. If core fragment hormonite greater than zero, output red signal. That seems... Unnecessary and also backward from what I would expect to work. But I've, I've been copying it from blocks that have worked for ages, so I'm thoroughly confused. Oh, that's... wait. Oh, 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 I know. Green wire is... core fragments that are detected in the ship. So, if ship is here, don't send another one right now. Simple as that. That does make sense. Cool, cool, cool. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Four minutes. I still don't know how... Um, how Ion Hall of 14 got sent there. These guys are headed for Stromhurst and Corsol. This guy's going back home. Very strange. Very, very strange. Maybe I should have trusted my instinct to uh, keep this disconnected until we're actually ready. What's this timer set to? 101k. Plus 18,000. That's about how many ticks? Uh, about 33 minutes ago, I guess it sent a ship here. Mm. It would have... That's too long. It would have gone back already. Why is the research frozen? Because we don't have uh, something something... It's not energy 3, because we're just looking for 
Astro, what? Oh, I remember. Rocket tech cards. I still need to redo that. What do we got? Three minutes? Let's go. Redesign rocket tech cards. Speedrun. Any percent. The pauses don't matter because it's three minutes game time. Um, we need advanced. Rocket tech card. Uh, I'm just going to design it for prod nines. That's what, uh, that'll be the standard for now. Well, not for now, from now on. And I'll just roll back the, um, the modules until we actually have them. So how fast would this be? Three hundred percent, or four hundred rather, negative eighty. Cool, cool, cool. This would go fifty tech cards per second. I think that might be more than we need. Probably. It's probably a lot more than we need, to be honest. I mean, considering. Well, let's let's assume this is going full speed. Optimistic, I know. 0.38 rocket tech cards per second. Uh, I think... I think we could probably make this smaller. In fact, I think we could skip the 10 megawatt wide area beacon entirely. No, I do want max prod out of it. Whatever. That'll be EPS friendly. So how fast would this be with tier 3s? That's 2.6 like per second. Which should be more than we need, honestly. I'm going to do 8. It should be overkill, but like... A more moderate overkill, shall we say. Rocket Keck card? Lancer? Good to see you again. Well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Eight for fun factor? I mean... <clears throat> it's not like all the tech cards have a bunch of stuff in common where I would combine a bunch of them in one place. Right? I mean, they need blank tech cards, that's about it. That, that, that is literally pretty much the only thing they have in common. That said, I think we only need half a block. Like, way less than half a block for each of these. How many do we have? Two, four, f uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not divisible by two. Mm. I don't want to put these two together, these two together, and these two together. Let's build the rocket tech cards on the right side. And... unload it. So we got four inputs, right? All of them very slow. I don't need a sushi belt. 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 It's fine. Uh, and let's line this up. With our I.O. Since it's 7, have the silo in this block to make it even? The silo? Oh, the silo! Yeah, 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 I completely forgot. We need, um, satellite telemetry. Good call, thank you. 
I think we'll put this on this side after all. Beautiful. And that way we have one less item. Uh, especially since it's literally only going one place. I believe that I'm pretty sure there's only one thing that ever consumes telemetry. Yep, rocket tech card. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so we need furnaces, tier one speed modules, and blank data cards delivered. And I'm really trying to resist the urge to make a sushi belt right now. It's fine. It's fine. Consumption's going to be rather slow. If no sushi belt, can we instead get a teppanyaki belt? <laughs> what is teppanyaki? Uh, yeah, the fastest item here is 14 per second. With a stack size of what? 200? Okay, that's really slow. Um, can we just ask for like... If I ask for 1.5 trainloads of everything, and if LTN never over delivers it, um, we would have at least some items of each type in this container at all times if we push it all to one of those containers. So we wouldn't need to make... Um, We wouldn't need to make a separate container to control the sushi. Uh, not sushi, the, um... We're just gonna output it with filters. So I need... Way more blanks than anything else. It doesn't matter, we're doing a half belt for all of these. We'll do blank over here. And we'll have that connect up with the satellite telemetry. And this one will be electric furnace and speed module. Just in case you forgot to... The items that science consumes is completely arbitrary. Okay, and then I'm going to need some splitters, or I could do just like a loop around, since one belt is going to be more than enough. That might be the, the way to go aesthetically. Something a little bit different. This is what I was thinking. Over here. It's a little bit nicer. And then some undergrounds. Seems good. Nice and simple. We'll probably get back to what we're doing here as well. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance that I accidentally combined those, uh, those robo-networks. 
loops, also known as sushi. No, no. Philip B, thank you very much for the six months of Prime. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I think it's that Japanese style where they cook at your table. Oh. What's that one where you have like a... Like a thing at the table that you use to cook. Or at least you do some of the cooking. Um, I'm gonna... Hmm, no, I should leave this here. I was gonna park it at Plato, but it's gonna auto-launch. Well, I could just remove this signal. That would actually sort it out. Play to orbit. And if any other ships somehow get sent here, that one will block it from cycling needlessly. Petri Cottontail. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Swiss fondue, yakiniku, Korean barbecue is popular or hot pot, hibachi, uh, that's a lot of options, I don't know, I guess I'll look it up later, uh, I kind of want to finish this build, so, I mean, we can't do any more science without it, I I'm sure we're saving up a pretty big backlog of other sciences, that we're slow on materials for now, um, so it's not like we're really losing time, but still. Mm, come to think of it, this can be a vanilla pickup. Because we're never having an LTN train pick this stuff up, right? Rocket testing pack. Tech card, rather. Goes into... Nothing. The, there's no recipe that consumes rocking... T uh, rocking? Rocket testing... Uh, rocket tech card, rather. It's only that it goes into the lab. I'll just use this to copy the station name. Make sure that's identical. And there's only ever going to be one train moving this stuff, so I don't think we need to, like, have any wires or anything. Weiwei, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Stone Grill Bud Budde Jigai Gesundheit <laughs> No Um Yeah, so let's go with some test input data. So the train's obviously gonna put this stuff in Symmetrically, but it's all eventually going to end up on this side. No satellite telemetry. Wait, 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 wait. Set filters blacklist. There we go. That might not work so well, actually. Um. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Let's get rid of all this, and I'll come up with a better idea. So we want exactly one point, uh, 150 stacks of each of these three inputs, right? How many stacks is this? 100? Everything but satellite telemetry. Uh, 50 times 50. Alright, and then we're gonna... 
remove the request for them. We're going to put all of that in. I'm going to do the same thing with speed ones. 2,500 is 50 stacks. You know what? Let me just do this three times. That's a little bit easier. Uh, and then remove the request for them. And let that empty. And then... Uh, blank tech card. Which also stacks to 200, actually. To 10,000? Should be 50 stacks. Fantastic. Remove the request. Alright, so one and a half train loads for each of these three items. Um, that's actually getting moved across kind of slowly. We should end up with at least a little bit of each. Um, since two of them would add up to 300 stacks, and we can kind of ignore these. Um, there should be, like, at worst, 20 stacks of whichever resource, like, gets in here last. So we don't need any fancy uh, fancy circuitry or anything to control it, as long as LTN doesn't over-deliver, uh, we should be fine. That's a lot of blank tech cards though. A lot, a lot of blank tech cards. Hmm. We have and empty them. Oh, they're bottlenecked by the belt already. There we go. Just enough room. Get out of there. That's kind of hypnotic. Yes, master. Right away, master. Alright, I'll give that a moment. And... How's our spell evader? Oh yeah, we're kind of burning cables, meanwhile. Let's maybe hurry up and get some core fragments moving to justify this, and also so that the spaceships will automatically resupply. Holy crap, that was getting low. I know it started by consuming like two-thirds of the cables we brought, but still. How many are we consuming? 5.66666 per minute. So, a stack of elevator cables every four minutes. Nasty. I've got my laser artillery. I've got laser turrets. I've got the ability to ride the space elevator. I have apparently no enemies that can reach us. Oh, here we go. Nope. In this general direction? Here we go. Well, why don't I leave some laser artilleries right here, just in case. How much range do we have? That's decent. I'm going to get these little ones first. Let me just use the lighted pylon substations. That'll be easier.
pretty sure those can come and get us. Are we going to have power problems with this? Nope. Oh, that's rough. That's that's a little more powerful than I was expecting. Then again, I didn't expect any anything smaller than behemoths, to be honest. I need to hurry up and get some core fragments moving here. I don't want to leave any power poles behind, like on Stromhurst. Okay. Make sure we know exactly where those power poles get left behind. Too much? Apparently not. And it's already over. Oh. That's actually pulling these ones that are out of range. Not this guy though. This guy this guy knows what's up. Cat and tree. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What resource are you after on this planet? Hominite. Although, I don't know if that's our actual bottleneck at this moment. I think it is. Or well, it, it's one of them. Um, I think our Holmanite core fragments are actually... Yeah. Oh, there's a little bit here. Hmm. Oh. Well, which is it? Make up your mind, base. I see our furnaces are running. Wait. If there are Holmanite core fragments in space right now, but they're not being used here... Uh, apparently we need more trains? To move them? This is an LTN one. How... Why does it have iridite core fragments? I'm gonna need that filters blacklist to get everything else out of that train. All right, make sure I'm not getting killed by biters. Seems good. We do prefer not being killed by biters. What are they doing now? They all decided to aim at that guy to the right. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, okay. The targeting choices by our artillery are very... Arbitrary and random. We can't count on them. Unless they've got overwhelming throughput. Of damage. Compared to what may come. So make sure we have a little more room. Or at least other laser turrets covering them. Power's okay? Power is totally fine. Pew pew pew. Okay. I think the other laser turrets are going to hit these guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're okay. we get away with more? We can. We've actually got 30. Hmm. I think we can technically get away with all of our turrets active. 
just not necessarily all of them firing at the same time. They do draw, uh, 50 megawatt just sitting idle. So that's two poor mining drills. It's a little bit harsh. Alright, I want to cut this off and establish a choke point so that we can do this without the stress. And... Almost got this area covered. Why not the space laser thing? We are using the space laser thing. It's just, uh, there's a lot. And I do mean a lot of biters to clear. And that's just if we just want this island, which unfortunately is, as it turns out, quite big. Uh, well, fortunately slash unfortunately, we do need a bunch of core mining drills. Holy biters, indeed. Jimbo Panda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's grab a bunch of these ones. Bring them over here. And they've almost got this side covered. There we go. I just need to go back and get these guys. Grab some more of these. And you should probably stay here. We don't need quite so many at this spot. I will put some more over here. Where's our power? Oh. Okay. Is that a bit too aggressive? It's possible. If the biters had come straight at us, it would have been. Uh-oh. 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 And now they're confused. <laughs> I confused them by getting rid of their targets. Oh, no. That seems unfair. Oh, they even kill the big ones quickly. Wow. The ones that take a leisurely uh, sunbathe when we shine the beams on them. Already dead. Well, already gone ski. Anyone else? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that happened.
find yourself in overconfidence that is slow and insidious killer. And there it is. Alright, um... Construction box... I don't think I... Hmm... How am I gonna get my stuff back? I can move the... I can move the laser artillery that we've already got. In fact, I can use picket dollies. Uh, that's going to take a lot of button presses. Oh my god. Maybe I should just go there. Even if it's... Even if I have to walk to do it. I think I forgot to put my power armor on. But I don't know if it would have made a difference with two of those, or even one of those big snappers. When bugs stomp you, <laughs> indeed. Could probably even move the body with that mod. This is true. Uh, where is it? Heh heh heh. This is cool and normal. This, uh... This isn't a bug, it's a feature, okay? It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna put it next to that rock so that it would be relatively easy to find. Perfectly valid gameplay, indeed. <laughs> Sus. Zombie tea hacks? Yes. Rackenzy, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Oh, hey, Osoro, if I didn't say so, welcome in. So where where are we? I need to go this way now. Get them! Raus! Raus! We'll get them. Ugh, should have brought my sh snowshoes. Look at that little default Factorio character. That's a rather large gun, actually. And what's this thing on his on the right side of his back? Are we there yet? Not even close. I hear Mike's sound bit. Wait a moment, you cheated? No, no. Ooh, I would have... I would have run into another... spider if I wasn't careful. Let, let's just... Let's just move him over there. I'm sure he'll be happier. And not a single cheat was activated that day. I think I see the rock on the map where my body is. That's not it. Uh, does anyone remember where we parked our corpse? Oh, it's marked on the map, but it's wrong. Um, I thought I left it next to one of these little rocks, so that we would know where it is, and also that it was this angle away from the... Uh, t there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're almost there. Do a decon planner? <laughs> Don't deconstruct my body. I should tag it. Yeah, here it is. It's right there, actually. I 
Can you move the downed character? Yep, already did. Come to me. Knoised, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, this time let's actually use our power armor. Might even survive a single bite by one of those things. I can dream. Where's my power pole? Over here. Do I have my laser artillery? Yes, indeed. Should probably stop every time I make a power pole to make sure we don't have something in range already. You might want to target that guy. Yeah, there we go. Do I have my bar? So do. Ruh row. Ruh row. Okay, so the laser does do something at least. Evidence destroyed. Oh, it's still firing. And continue. Picked up rocks, didn't I? Let's put some down here. Total Annihilation theme plays. I probably would play it if I wasn't uh, terrified of copyright strikes. What a wonderful system. Anybody left up here? I don't think so. Cool, cool, cool. So we got a bunch of them down here and a bunch of them over here. Just got a few freckles left over up this way. Almost there. Speaking of TA, that soundtrack was amazing. Indeed it was. That intro, the intro voice guy did an amazing job as well. I thought I was going too far. How good's this one laser? Pretty decent, honestly. How quickly does it drain the batteries? Hmm. Ah! Wasn't actually in any danger, but that startled me. If it was a red one... I don't know how much damage I could have taken. Can we see their stats on, on damage? Do we have any more red ones standing around? I certainly hope not. Oh, there's one. What did... What? what I, did they just disappear? What just happened? Do they have stealth technology? I'm scared. Alright, here we go. Shooting speed, where was it? Sit still. Resistance is health, shooting speed. What about damage? Range 2, shooting speed 1 per second. Yeah, it doesn't say damage. Oh, here we go. 350. Area of effect size 2. <laughs> damage 100 physical, so like 450. Uh, How much does this shield give us? 200. So most of my shield would go in one one snap, but not all of it. Uh, 
It's a new mod, pick a, pick a despawn? Uh, yes. All right. We didn't have it all our own way this time. Is our conquest of this area complete, though? I think it is. I certainly hope so. How's Energy Beam doing? Very slowly. <laughs> I wish we could tell it to just go for the spawners first. Because the spawners obviously die a lot faster. Um, but yeah, I think we'll reinforce this a bit. We'll put like all of our... All of our laser artillery up here. Just in case the pollution spreads far enough. Right about here in the middle. Seems good. And I really don't want to end up with random power poles. Let's Go back to our nice fast thruster suit. Faster in any case. Went past it. Got plenty of fuel. Alright. Where's our guy? It'll be faster if I just pick this up. Maybe I should set, like, hmm, how low would I have to go? If I set game speed so that we have 40 UPS, uh, it would be more consistent. I'd have to remember to check later on if it's gone back up, if I remove a bunch of stuff. But the inconsistency is bothering me as much as the... Oops. As much as the fact that it's a bit slower. Um, I could either use the editor, but I don't know if I can set the speed that accurately. We could go half speed, or we could go normal speed. Uh, I want two-thirds speed. Is there, like, a slow-mo command? What What is the command? Help. Oh, that's a lot. At least this actually tells you something when you type help. I could point to more than a few consoles and things that I, I literally can't even figure out something to type to get first hint of something to do. Uh, can I, like, filter it or something? What if I type, like, help measure it? Nope, it doesn't, like, search it. Hmm. Probably quicker if I look it up. Where are you game speed command? Game dot speed?
game speed. He's still space lasering two other planets, yes. Well, two planets, including this one. Speed, change game speed, here we go. C, game dot speed equals X. So can I go like 0 0.66? That's wrong. Oh, we'll disable achievements, don't care. Okay, that seems to be right. 0 0.66. That definitely dropped it below 40. It's still not entirely consistent. Oh, it seems to have settled on it. Okay, cool. We'll try this for a bit, and if... Uh, if we don't get those little lurches when I'm moving around and stuff, we'll maybe stick with that. Well, and I just saw a little pause. I guess that's pointless. Okay. Um, I think I can easily change the... Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Um, this doesn't set it to absolute settings. It increments it... It increments or dec uh, reduces it by a percentage or something. C game dot speed equals one. There we go. Well, I guess it was worth a try. Let's make some trains. I just want to get one station working for starters. Um, let's steal from Stromhurst. Seems like a good idea. Let's key bill. Where's Stromhurst? Here it is. And we'll start with this. Need to go pick up some rail. Apparently I already had some rail. Not that much though. I could design it some more, but I'd, I'd rather go grab this first. That's a lot. Um, probably got enough train stops. And signals, combinators. Where are the signals? That should be more than enough. And then drills. Oh, and bulk rail loaders. Those actually run out pretty quickly. And blue belt. What am I dropping? Alright, that'll do for now. First station we're going to find is down this way. It's actually extremely convenient. Wow, really convenient. No, almost. We want front left, right? Yeah, that's actually really good. 
Fantastic. And belt goes this way. And we can probably put this How small of a corner can I do? There we go. Uh, we can probably put this right here. Head back this way. Another couple of corners. Oh, that is neat. That's going to be very neat. Front right. Out here. Look at that. Couldn't have uh, planned it better myself. Why are my bags so full already? Alright, so train can go both ways, train can go this way, train can go that way. Destroy the cliffs. And we're going to need some power poles. That's, that's all max distance, right? Seems good. Is that going to touch everything? Oh, it does. All cliffs must die? Factorio crossover for all orcs must die? Some signals here. Seems good. Ah, uh, so close. We're not going to keep the rail going this way, are we? Uh, maybe. In that case. I don't think I even need landfill for this one. Especially if I brought superior underground belts, which unfortunately I didn't, but... We can do it like this. Let's get some rail coming down here. And across this way, get a corner. Maybe another corner. Front left. Can we actually fit a corner here? I don't think so. No, we can't. In that case, put it here. And then maybe a diagonal bit of a power pole here. I think I have a blueprint for that. Perfect. And 
Oh, that actually covers everything. Even better. So then we'll just put some chain signals here. How's our power? Seems fine to me. Oh, I didn't actually check that this was running properly. If there's core fragments in all four of them, we know everything's working. What's the rate? We've only got... Oh, well, we've got two drills placed. So they're already like 50% efficiency. So the first drill was... 21.23 per second. Um... But they're all going to go slower, the more drills that we put down. It's inverse square, so we need uh, four drills to go the equivalent of two drills speed. We need uh, nine drills to go the equivalent of three. 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, and so on. Use a better suit for construction? I am using... oh. Well, it would help if I had a power source, but other than that... Whoops. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I didn't run out of power yet. It's fine. You know what? I should have used the solar panels that I don't have for the construction. Oh, well. Um, so are these working? Yes, it is. And yes, it is. Cool, cool, cool. What's our rate so far? Twenty six per second. I think that's comparable to everything we've got from Verb T. Uh, we're looking for drills. As entity, we've got thirteen times. 33.25 per second from 13 drills on verb T. And what the hell? I think I need to trim verb T now. There we go. Uh, and with just three drills where... We're at 26 on this planet. Cool, cool, cool. That's more than a stack per second already. Let's grab ourselves a train. We're only going to need one, at least for now. But I'm... Oh, I do have some solar panels. But they're probably precision measured to make three of these trains. Oopsie daisy. Um, give me those, give me those, give me those. Maybe not all of those right now. And give me those. And do I have a blueprint for this lying around? I believe the answer is yes, but not that one. I'll make two of these to start with, and then I can't put the other one here, otherwise they'll connect. And we need to change... Uh, what's the name of this elevator? Plato. We need to change Corsal down and up to Plato down and up. And the rest stays the same. 
give him some electric engines. Increase their speed and fuel efficiency. Unfortunately, you can't have them move at all without fuel still, which is to say space train power packs. It would honestly be really nice to have some solar powered trains. If only as a backup. Let's grab some charged power packs. Just enough to get them started. And off you go. Oh, none of the core fragment pickups are ready yet. I thought it would move away immediately. This one's actually pretty close. Very close, actually. We can start making the last train as soon as... Oh, I didn't fix the schedule on this one. There we go. Schedule for second train, indeed. Well, can I get this guy to temp move over here? Seems good. And then you can go to the next stacker, please. Oh, there is fine as well, I guess. As long as we have room to make this guy. Copy the schedule. And... I need to go get more electric engines. That's not electric engines. Uh, and then give him the last of these battery packs. Bonk? Why are we bonking? And why did this guy already... Wait, what? Remind oh. yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Paste the schedule again? I did. I did paste the schedule. I'm pretty sure I said that I pasted the schedule. What? Well, that's weird. Alright. You can go over here. You uh, can go over here. And that should all be working. Nice suit. Now, did we have any bots moving the ore fragments? Oh, that's what I forgot. The hidden setting. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. We've got one, two drills over this way. Don't know if I brought enough landfill. Oh, I probably brought landfill. Oh, does... Wait, what? Did 14 already... What are you doing? Wait, no. Oh, you're going to Corsol orbit. Why are you going to Corsol orbit from here? How... What? 
It's got two destinations. Uh, okay, that'll sort itself out, but what the hell happened? What the hell did happen? I... You know, I didn't even have... I don't think the ship... Hmm... What? It should have landed there, and it should have been able to take off, and it shouldn't have two destinations on its memory cell, and I'm very confused and concerned. Resets the schedule when the blueprint is placed. Pasted before the second engine was built. Huh. What about this ship? Do I have any ships on the way to Plato right now? That would be very helpful. So we could see what happens. Hmm. That's very weird. There shouldn't have even been a ship scheduled to go to Plato yet. In fact, didn't I disable that? I literally did. We're never ever sending anything through here. If time signal equals 50, pass everything through. Did it have planet orbit 689 on it? No, I need to see it real quick. It did. Then how... What... Uh, it just bounced off course all as well. Looks like wormhole to me. No, it's not going to the wormhole. So now it's going to Plato. I'm, I'm just gonna... Get rid of that. That's very strange. Are there any others headed to, like, Corsol or something? With something on their memory cell that might cause that? It had previously appeared at Plato for some reason. <sighs> I don't understand how we suddenly get this new weird issue. Is this guy dead? No power, even though you have fuel. <clears throat> really looking forward to not needing the inserters to do the fuel cell thing. Which, for some reason, even though we set it so that they replace the fuel cells when the, like, three quarters of the Holmium accumulators still remain the charge. Uh, we apparently managed to, I don't know, drain all of the power before the inserter does something. Read above, it's Iron Hall of 14 again. Same ship got to be mistake on the ship. I hope it's a manual one-off from when I, like, told it to land at Plato. So it's got nothing on the memory cell now, which means... When it reaches its destination and passes everything from the memory cell through to the console, nothing is going to happen. It should just land. And then what? ETA 40 seconds. I'm going to grab some colder water.
Hmm, still 12 seconds in game. Alright, what do you got? What are you gonna do? Five, four, three, two, and. And we land. I should be able to allow it to launch again automatically. Now that we've got the core fragments in motion. It's actually going to take a while at this rate. I need more drills. So where's this one going to go? Hmm. I'm thinking... I replace these power poles in this night... Night? Nice, neat, general direction. Make sure we reconnect it with the artillery before we get rid of that mess over there. That should be fine. Research stopped? Yeah, it's been stopped for a while. Oh, that reminds me. I was supposed to be redesigning uh, Rocket Tech Cards, which is totally run out. I'll get a few more drills going on this outpost, and then we'll do that. Okay. So now we can remove these. Let's make sure we get them. I don't want to leave random poles laying around like last time. Well, not last time. It was actually ages ago. Oh. And I think I'll just use this bit behind the space elevator. To extend our rail up here. Oh, rude. Do I have any landfill on me? Not, uh, yes, yes I do. So where's that drill? Or core seam, rather. I think we have room to turn to the right here. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe we can... We want front left, I think. Put this one right about here. Seems good. Where's my corner? Perfection. And signals. Both ways over here. That should be fine. I wonder how those matter data cards are doing. Ooh, this one's saturated. This one's got a very long way to go. Probably the magnetic canisters are going to be like 90% of the cost for that. Uh, we need secure canisters. What? Oh. What? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> That's kind of, 
That's going to need some fixing. Yeah, this one here doesn't have a filter. Well, there's your problem. I think I'm going to have to visit that personally. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious... I mean, there are ways to fix it remotely, but I, I don't want those secure canisters going anywhere else. Indeed, overconfidence. Marcel, welcome in if I didn't say so. Let's get this drill going. Fantastic. One, two, three, and four. Unfortunately, it's going to slow down all the other drills. Um, like this one that's about to have a drain load. But overall, it's obviously going to be a bit faster. I don't know how close we are to filling a ship. Probably not very close at all. Especially because uh, the way the trains are lined up with this, they're going to fill this side first before they drop core fragments off on this side, which goes to the other side of the ship. It doesn't actually cause any problems as far as the overall throughput. But it will make that next delivery take a while. Um, and I th think we'll have our rail continue up this way. I... Let's power pull up here. Figure out where we want this drill to be. Right about there. And copy paste a corner in. Fantastic. Let's maybe put a diagonal here. Where, what am I doing? It's on the first page. There we go. And then? That's not going to reach, is it? This will do. Name in base? No worries. Let me just park my character here, and coming right up, Marcel29. Fantastic. There's no underscore character. I don't know which of these you might want instead, if any. Anyone else already queued up for name and base? Nope, we're good. Oh, we got to upgrade to gold. Overclock. Didn't I do overclock? I think it was on Nalvis, right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. Cool, cool, cool. Just mark that one off. It's fine as it is. Fantastic. Alright, let's keep building. And don't forget the belt. Nice. Signals should be good already. 
Oh, this didn't get placed. Uh, that wouldn't actually cause a problem, but I'd rather get it done so I don't have to remember it anyway. Alright, so how many drills have we got? Five? And that gives us 33 Holmanite core fragments per second. On Nalvis, I believe... Oh, we're actually capable of processing 96 per second. Without building anything else. Um, but I'd have to do a lot more work to add any more drills. This one's going to be a pain. This one's going to be a pain. This one's going to be a... Well, it's just going to take a lot of landfill. Maybe more than I brought with me. Obviously, this one's going to take a lot of landfill. Uh, but yeah, I think our defenses are fairly secure. And how's our power? Pretty reasonable. That's the core fragment build that needed the upgrade? Needed the upgrade. You know, speaking of which, I could use... Well, I, I switched off production because we've got a lot of demand right now, but I do have, like, over 200 prod sixes. Over 250, actually. How many, how many does it take to fill one of these? 4 times 24, over 100. No, 96. Uh, so, 192. How many, how many did I say I had? I've got 55 here. Uh, yeah, I could... Hmm. I could upgrade to tier 6 prods for one of our core fragment blocks. I think it should be this one, because the vanilla trains will deliver to the nearest one. Holmanite is our biggest problem at the moment, right? Uh, maybe Iridium. That's a lot of prod modules for that step, though. But not so many for the core fragment step, which multiplies out a bit better, because it's at the beginning of the chain. Hmm. We are always short on... Uh, what do you call them? Bearings. Because we're making the purple belt. Sorry, I'm wrong. It's the insert reach points on the belt. Insert, a, insert reach points on the belt. For one of the core fragment builds? You don't mean the inserters themselves? There's some big stone patches on that planet. Turn them all into landfill mines and come back in a few days. Not a bad idea. Don't forget you as fixing science too. Yeah, I'm juggling too many balls. That's one of the... That, that's the trouble with this playthrough. Um, it's just getting to be more and more and more. That I'm trying to remember to do. I did bring... Uh, like 10 stacks or so of landfill with me, but... That runs out rather quickly. But yeah, this is actually... I don't have any drills. We have them on the construction uh, ship. I think probably not, because we normally don't build any anymore. I'm pretty sure we don't have any drills, except for core mining drills, obviously. Um, I could maybe like handcraft some electric mining drills. 
They don't need to be that fast. We don't need to use prods or anything. We've got some assembly machines here. Yeah, why not? It actually doesn't take too long to bake. Look at these little things. How nostalgic. Can I fit... Ooh, I can. I can fit several of them around one assembly machine. That's a different look. How many is this? 24. And we'll have power pole here. And here. And... Oh, now we're having a handcraft more. I can... I can do editor stuff while that handcrafts, right? Yeah, let's do that. Spiders right in front of you to the north? Oh. Well, that's rude. Um, I've got some laser turrets. Let's not power our drills just yet. Oh. I think that's enough. Probably better if I just use the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that could have been worse. Oh, they didn't even destroy one laser turret. Lucky. Yeah, I was going to say I should use the agility of the uh, thruster suit instead of the power armor. And... Oh, that's a big one. It's always just the armored biters that are left. Left over by the energy beam. Alright, are we actually clear now? Maybe. I hope. Gonna find out the hard way. When we start polluting. Uh, and this needs to be... Landfill? And just shove it in a chest. Do I have an inserter? I do not seem to have an inserter. Well, at least it'll be obvious where the pickup is. Right, when we come back, that should be more than enough landfill. No more biters that are about to eat me? Nope. Perfectly safe. Guaranteed. Let's do a little save here, just in case. I don't have autosave on, so I'd rather save now while I think of it anyway. And... Begin? Nope. Oh, there it goes.
Not as bad as it was before. And there we go. Or not. Okay, back to the editor. Uh, so we've got our nice little... Maybe I'll move that over a little bit, just for the look of it. Wait, no, that's like the opposite of what I wanted to do. Put that there, and put that there. You know, we really don't need more than a blue belt here, but... Yeah, that reach is the same. Let's stop wasting Iridium and Imosite Cave stuff while it's slow. Let me guess. We need that stuff to make superior inserters. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. And then... Oh, right. The thing I was testing was that if we ask for one and a half train loads of three different things, we're always going to get at least a little bit of each in this one. Yep, that should be fine. Alright, so over here we need to do a build for... Um... Satellite telemetry. Which doesn't happen in an assembly machine, does it? Pretty sure we need a, a satellite rocket silo for that. Satellite rocket silo. No, how do I... Satellite rocket... No. Not telemetry. Where's the silo? Here it is. That's the one what launches... Oh no, that's just the icon for Rocket Plot from Vanilla. I think it is. It's not actually cargo rocket stuff. So we can just have the... LTN drop off this stuff. Does it benefit from a beacon? It does. Could I have it benefit from the same beacon? Why not? I'm sure... Oh, the reason I'm able to build this here is because it doesn't muck around with multiple surfaces or anything. Uh, what am I looking for? Super speed module. Um, and we'll do some test input. I just want to make absolutely sure this is the silo that we need. Auto launch with cargo. Now, we can rate calc it based on how many rocket parts per second, minute, whatever. We need a hundred rocket parts to launch a rocket, but then there's this delay. Uh, I don't know exactly how long it takes to do the actual launch. But it is a not insignificant fraction. 
Well, especially if we're producing all the resources elsewhere and just pouring them in here. Rocket inventory. Uh, we need a satellite, right? It's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a navsat. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff we need to deliver. Um, luckily, we've got plenty of room. We're still handcrafting this. Okay. I kind of want two of these. How long would it take to... A little bit over a minute. Let's call it like two minutes per launch. I can't remember how much satellite telemetry comes back though. Well, the minimum consumption is trivial anyway. We may as well have it there. Now, can I line this up so that it's not symmetrical? God damn it. We can have these... We can have an assembly machine that's 3x3 uh, three three or 5x5. Five five. In other words, not neatly between these two. I could put this way over here. We could have even more silos that we don't that we probably don't need. But it'll look cool. Ooh, I could do some uh I could maybe do a little something to deliberately synchronize them. So it'll launch all four of these at the same time. Per wiki, rocket cycle is about 61.4 seconds. Okay. That's long. What if we put our beacon over here? And that still doesn't reach all of these. No, it doesn't reach these guys either. What if, I, what if I put the whole thing in the middle? Just for the look of it. Uh, so this can go here? That just barely works. And then... I hate that there's no center to this. Or that there is a center tile, but for this one there isn't. Mm. I guess it'll just have to be slightly offset. Or we could put these here. Close enough, I suppose. Wait, if they're going to auto-launch with cargo, I should put this off to the side anyway. Let's have a 2x2 two two chest here. And we'll put our inserters over here. Can I get circuit conditions from this? Nope. Hmm. I need I need a way to determine that we're ready to put the satellites in because Because these will just input as soon as there's, like, a space to put them in, right? So 
So how do I confirm that these are full? I think... Okay, I, I, I can think of one solution. The question is, can we do something a bit more elegant that doesn't require as many combinators or something? Can your production combinator thing interface with the silo? Uh, yeah, oh, the crafting combinator? It doesn't have a recipe, this thing. So I don't think that works. One biter remained on the coast. Where? One biter on the coast. It could have been a radar ghost. Like these guys. I think you can treat it like the rocket silo. I don't think my handcrafting is happening while I'm... No, it, it, it is, otherwise most of these wouldn't be done by now. Alright, cool. It's actually surprisingly slow. Do I have any... I don't want to put the tier 6 modules in here. Um, but I... Hmm could perhaps speed up some of these drills. Don't know why I have tier 2 speeds, but let's go. We're not putting speed 6s in these. We're just not. I could put a beacon here. It's not like we have a shortage of... I remember putting the beacons back in the construction ship. I don't feel like going to get them right now. Low key. Uh, low, low Kai, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How do you go to Map Editor? Uh, there's a mod called Editor Extensions. And if you want to have a surface that's parallel to your main game... Uh, you want to go to Mod Settings, Per Player tab, and it's under Editor Extensions, it's the last setting. It's called Testing Lab. And I'm just pressing Control e to flick back and forth between them. Um, so basically my idea here is... LDS heat shield. Uh, solid rocket fuel, RCU. Where's the RCU? There we go. Okay, so what we can do is check for two conditions. That all four of these resources on this bit of the belt are saturated. So we're going to read belt contents hold. Uh, and also, if we read belt contents pulse, uh, it's only going to send a signal when something moves through it for one tick. And we can say... First condition is everything equals four which is how much fits on one tile for half a block. The only trouble is it would actually report true if it's empty, because that's just how the everything signal works. It is true when there are no inputs. We can fix this You know what? It'll self-correct eventually. Like, as long as we we provide the inputs. Um, it might launch a rocket or two that aren't super synced up, but that's not really a problem. I don't think I will do this, but if I wanted to, um, I could say, like... 
everything has to equal 5. And we just put some other signal in here that's equal to 5. If everything equals 5, output T. Uh, wait, no, it's not quite right. Uh, LDS, heat shield, um, RCU, and solid rocket fuel. 1 plus 4, if everything equals 5, output something. So then, if we stop with the solid rocket fuel, it's going to recognize that one of our inputs are missing. So that condition's no longer met. Um, the other part of it... So this has to be true, and also the other part of it is... Is what? Is that we haven't consumed a resource for a few seconds? Yeah. How long does it take to go through one of these? Oh, it looks like we get 50 per launch. Is that right? It's not that much. I thought it would be like a thousand or something. Like the space science packs in vanilla. It's a hundred per launch. Good to know. Um, yeah, I could set a little timer here. What's the most succinct way I could do it? If anything greater than zero, output R for reset. And then have a regular timer here that resets if... That, that runs if R equals zero. Output T1... Okay. So whenever one of these belts move, this timer should reset. It's actually not that difficult. It's going to take a little while before it does it, so I'll explain this. Uh, if anything greater than zero, output R for reset, R1. And this is just a standard timer right here. Um, wait, let me see this work. And... Belt moves? When? When does the belt move? Not until this thing closes, I guess. There it is. So it's actually resetting every, like, 30 ticks or less. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, your basic timer is just... Let's make this one unconditional. If tick equals zero, output T input count. And we're going to connect its input to its output. It takes one tick for this thing to receive an input, do whatever it's going to do, and then output something. It takes absolutely no time, zero ticks, for information to travel across wires. So basically, we're making a very small circle. Um, and if we give it some value of T, it's basically, you can see that 3.4K on there because we let that happen for 34 ticks. Uh, it's basically going round and round in circles. And if we give it a value of 1 added from the constant combinator every single tick, uh, it's just going to increase by one every tick. So like, switch it off right now, 262 is going round and round in circles, it's going to be 262 plus one if I switch this back on. So now we've got... Um,
we can we can make an end over here by saying if uh, if checkmark signal if we've got all of our resources if checkmark signal greater than zero or equals one or something output t input count wait no we need to say if we might need another combinator. We need to say if t is small is, is greater than let's say one second. If t is greater than sixty, output. Uh, how about satellite? If t is greater than sixty, output satellite. As in, it's time to put the satellites in. Uh, but this is only true if. This one's true as well. We could change this to output satellite. And then this can be output satellite input count. And then we'll pass this over here. Um... It's not quite going to reach. And then we should see... Not there. Let's say I set these to filters. Just so we can see what's happening. We're going to set filters whitelist. Oh, and we're going to go stack size 1. Actually, it doesn't matter because the nav set takes up an entire stack. Set filters whitelist. And... And it's currently activated, yeah. So we should see this disappear as soon as... As soon as we're putting resources back into the satellite rocket silo. And it's only going to reappear when this thing's ready to go again. I think. So far, so good. Let's get some super speed modules in this thing. 50%. 70%. Here we go. As soon as the belt stops, we should see, like, one second later. Yep, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. So, if we do this for all four of these inputs. Uh, we're only going to need one set of combinators to make this happen. And I kind of want... How can I fit this together more nicely? I kind of want to put the combinators in the middle if possible, but I don't know. I can't have this reach over here, can I? Nope. Mm. Oh god, they're all out of sync. Make it stop. I am back. Joe, aka Geek, thank you I very much. Smile. smile indeed. Thank you very much for the five months of the Prime. Much appreciated. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, there's our landfill slowly chugging away. Have we had a spaceship come and pick up all fragments here? Uh, we've got 45k. And back at base, we don't have Holmanite core fragments. 
So we should have a ship on the way here now or soon. Let's see. Plato? That's Corsal Orbit. Stromhurst Orbit. Corsal Orbit. Uh, oh wait, I think I left it disabled. There's a wire missing, if I recall correctly. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So we should get a ship sent here. If we're lucky, right after we send a ship to go get Vulcanite. Oh, never mind. I said Vulcanite, I meant Vitamelange. Now we're sending a ship to go get Iridite. Um, but this thing is sending back to base now. And that should keep it resupplied with spellivator cables automatically. Once we... Uh, that T, 410k, uh, that's a timer that's counting out. If we see that that's reset, we know that a ship has been sent this way. We'll check on that in a minute. Now then. Maybe... Ooh, maybe for the sake of the look of it, I should... Definitely keeping that logic handy. Um... Shush. Maybe for the sake of it would look cool. Uh, let's have these in horizontal. Does this have a middle? It has a middle tile, yeah. Unfortunate. Actually, maybe I could... fit this like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, satellite. Three. That's not leaving a whole lot of room for... I don't need a whole lot of room for this. To be perfectly honest... Probably put these closer. How about this? I do need to get the satellite telemetry out of them. Maybe I could put this here. And... could have a flow this way. Oh, it needs to go up here. No, oh, that's fine. This is fine. Alright. Um, that's unfortunate. Oh, I could just put it right here. That looks a little sketchy. I don't like that.
something like this. We really don't need purple belt for this, actually. How fast does this consume? Oh. Wait, really? Oh, that's per minute. God. 1.75 per second. Yeah, 14 per second for the fastest thing here. I'm pretty sure this could all be blue belt. Can I make the inverse? Uh, I've already got it, actually. If we turn all of this blue... Um, that should probably be fine. Except for this part not reaching. Okay. And then... I could technically... How fast does this consume? Really slowly. I could technically use bots to supply all of the stuff. For the rocket silos? Would 50 bots be able to keep up with everything? I would say so. But don't I also want to use them? No, I, I, I think I won't use the bots to move the stuff that we need to make the satellites in the first place. might direct feed those from a train if we can depends on the scale for each of these 50 solid rocket fuel ouch and one radar radar that's another four different things supplied Unless I want to take them from the mall. What have you got? Small electric automation core, stone brick, steel plate. No overlap with anything here. Solid rocket fuel overlaps with um, the satellite rocket silos. LDS, advanced circuit, builds, glass, of course, are already in the rail network. I'll need to make builds for accumulators and solar panels. Mm. But we barely need any throughput for this, right? We need one-tenth of whatever this is. Four per second... 15 steel per second. <laughs> That's still pretty slow. I wonder if I could supply it with a short train. Let's say we have a drop off here. Keep it all in one container. Uh, 50 per cargo wagon. We can have up to six items dropped off. Yeah, we could probably do this. Four times 1.5 is six. Uh, 75 stacks times four is 300. We have 20 left over. We could ask for a short cargo wagon and a half for each of these. Just have that dropped off right here and just direct insert it. 
I should just double check though. I'm pretty sure steel, stone, brick, automation core, small electric. Uh, all of these things. I either already have short trains picking them up or I can easily arrange it. That's the old build. I could do that there too, but let's look at steel, steel plate, short trains permitted, fantastic. Um, stone brick. How about, how about allowing some short trains here? Uh, I almost said AI core. It's automation core, right? Do I have a rail block for those on this planet? Let me just check that that's what we need. Automation core and small electric motor. I'm pretty sure small electric... Pretty sure small electric. Uh, do I not have that either? Small electric storage. It's right here. Okay, cool. Um, and that one already allows short trains. That's an old build that needs to be updated as well. Um, oh yeah, do we have any ships on the way? Let's see. We do. In fact, they pretty much just left. Let's see. Can we catch them in Calidus system? You're headed for Foenestra. You're headed for Foenestra. Why can't I find... Oh, I think it hasn't actually sent it yet. Wait. Are you over here? Also orbit. Plato orbit. Yeah, there you go. Also, I need to remember to rescue Iron Hauler 11. And by remember, I mean I should just head over there right now because construction ship's fairly close to it. Let's go. Um, but yeah, we do indeed have a ship on the way to Plato. Uh, I'd like to see it land here and make sure everything's working. If at all possible. Now then. I was looking for automation cores. Automation core, it's all in the mall and stuff. Well, we've got automation cores being built on site to build cargo rocket sections. Which I still haven't gotten rid of. I can hardly believe that. Let's do it today. Um, yeah, what does automation core go into? Do we... Do we actually want a rail block for it? I've probably asked this question before. Automation tech cards. That's a strong argument for it. Inserters, crushers, electrolysis plants. Uh, hmm. We can make these with prod modules, but I think... Oh, I think we've got like a... Oh wow, it doesn't even have prods. I've got a dedicated machine for this in the mall, and it still doesn't have prod modules. Oopsie daisy. Anyway. Um, what else? It goes all it goes into all kinds of mall things. 
and automation tech cards. And of course, our the mole things include our radar. How many radars do we have here? 265. I really could just have the mole build the radars. But I don't want to have like a shortage of them because we had a run on building stuff in the mall. Speaking of which, it's caught up, which means we're not making purple belts, which means we might be accumulating uh, Immersium at the moment. Looks like it's got a long way to go to catch up though. What was I looking at? On second... On the other hand, if I bring... A hundred stacks of radars... Um... Five thousand... And it's literally one radar for one satellite... How many cores does it take? Four. Yeah, I think we could probably have the radars delivered from the mole. Mm. Or I could just take the one further step to make automation cores. Oh, yeah, I wanted to look at the red tech card build. We're making the cores up here. It would be a much nicer build if it didn't need to make the cores on the spot. Is it worth making a build for those just for just for those two things? Or three or something? Probably. And we could drop them off at the mall and not have that little machine sitting there. Alright, fine. I'm just going to pretend like we've already got them for now. Uh, we need a request to station. And... That leaves... One, two, three, four, five... Hmm. I could use robots to do this stuff. It'll be very, very short range. Yeah, that should be fine. And the same could probably be said for... for everything we need for the radars. Even if I did make the automation course on the spot. Uh, I don't want to need that many more machines. I want this to be a very neat and tidy build. So what if we have... We've got electric furnace, blank tech card speed module being dropped off here. And I could probably just have everything else dropped off here, to be honest. If I'm going to use the the robot drop-off system, as long as I put everything nice and close to it, it shouldn't actually be a problem. Let's swap those around. So I guess we don't need this. We need... Wait, how fast do these consume? 
Less than five per second for everything but solid rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can do this. So we're just going to have storage chests um, for advanced circuit, LDS, heat shield. Let's go. Heat shield, LDS, steel, perhaps. Uh, rocket control unit. You know what? Let me put these two over here. Rocket control unit, solid rocket fuel. Oh, I was trying to make it easy to see. Also, stop flashing. Stop it. Okay. Rocket control unit. And... Pretty sure we're going to need more than one little chest for each. Let's just figure out what we need first. Solar panels, accumulators. Oops. Uh, and advanced circuits. And glass. Okay, so, heat shield LDS, RCU, solid rocket fuel, check, uh, solid rocket fuel, check, event circuit, LDS, solar panel accumulator, rocket fuel, glass, uh, radar, we need small electric, stone brick, Uh, four. And what was the other one? Steel plate. Alright, this is all the stuff we need delivered by the robot network. Maybe these belts could be not as in the way. If I'm going to request a long train... Should probably have four of these containers for each. I up to glass. Stop flashing at me. Advanced small electric. Let's put these ones together. Um, automation core, stone brick, and steel. Naturally, I'll put those. Well, I was going to say I'd put them nice and close to the radar, but no, I want them... I want them close to the bulk rail unloaders more than anything else.
Maybe I could change the shape of these belts here. I wasn't a big fan of that anyway. What if... We do something like this? Doesn't matter which side of the belt we use. Max rate would be... Uh, hard to say. We get a hundred per launch, but that's like at least two minutes. Probably. Times six. That's like, like six per second or something. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry ourselves too much. Actually, put this here. I think that looks better. Uh, whoops. This is getting weirder and weirder. There has to be a s smoother way to connect these. How about down here? Where's this one gonna go? Good question. I'll worry about that after we do this. So I already moved these four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus five is twelve. Let's do these four together. And then we've got the satellite-only stuff. Which I kind of want to put here, actually. You can put the higher throughput ones closer to this thing. Glass is fastest, so glass should go here. And then we've got everything but solar and accumulators, basically. So we'll put solar accumulator back this way. It should be manageable. This thing only has to produce, like, six rockets every... Uh, six satellites every couple of minutes, anyway. I don't think the bots are going to be struggling. We can't prod this. Um, can't prod this either. It doesn't need to be under the beacon, and it doesn't need... It doesn't need to go fast. like this. 1.2k? Holy crap. How about less than that? over here. Why is this one normal count? Whatever. 
It's fine. This is fine. Okay, if we're gonna put... I wonder if we can fit all the inputs. I'm thinking the answer is probably yes. Uh, superior filter and server. There we go. We're gonna do... We're gonna try and supply everything with the bots. For these guys. Which means we need... Well, what's the max rate for... It's super slow. Yeah, we can definitely do this. Just request, like, a couple of stacks. Uh, let me put this in order that I like. Heat shield LDS. Rocket control unit. And... Be a bit more aggressive with the solid rocket fuel. Actually, just... Oh, that's fine. Uh, and, of course, satellites. We want... Three. And we'll use set filters. Um... We'll have... Every time the inserters swing, they'll reset the timer. Instead of reading belts, I'll read the contents of these chests. And... Well, I'd need to check individually on either side. I could just say if... Uh, if we've got, like, less than 200 heat shield... No, wait, um... Let's halve it. If we've got less than 100, less than 100, less than what we're requesting for these four between the two chests, we know there's a resource shortage. I could just let it launch out of sync if there's a resource shortage. That's no big deal. In that case, hmm, what are these resources? It's all stuff that we can keep up with easily. It's only exotic resources that we struggle with at all. I think it'll be fine. Probably. Um, so what logic do I actually need here? Oh yeah, we need to read the... Can I read hand contents? Yes, I can. Read hand contents pulse. It's going to reset the timer. If anything greater than zero. Uh, and we're going to set filters as well. And we'll use the red wire to set filters. If anything greater than zero, reset timer. Uh, we want... Oh, no. We can only fit four filters. All right, uh, one more decider combinator then. If satellite equals zero, output everything. Wait, what? Wrong way around. Everything input count if satellite 
Satellite. Where is the satellite? It's under logistics. If satellite equals zero, I'll put everything input count, and that everything is going to be uh, our four filters. Uh, control unit and solid rocket fuel. Solid rocket fuel. Cool. And I think we can just connect that to itself with red wire. Connect that with green here. Oh. Mm, output everything one. There we go. That's fine. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So if we don't detect a navsat signal, we're going to output everything else for the filters. And if we do detect navsat signal... There we go. That's our little workaround for only having room for four filters here. Now, we read from the inserters. Uh, we read pulse. Or I guess if we read hand contents hold, it's about the same. But it, does, it doesn't really matter. Uh, when we do read something from them, anything from them, we reset this, uh, timer. If the timer is below, or rather, greater than one second, output navigation satellite. Uh, and we're not going to have it dependent on this thing as well. So we're just going to output one. And that's going to go there. And that's pretty much it. So whenever these inserters swing, it'll reset this timer. Once the timer's been running for 60 seconds, or uh, 60 ticks, uh, without any of these inserters swinging, we're going to say put in satellite. Wait, won't... Uh, won't that kill it if there's a resource shortage? I think it will. Huh. Huh. Ideas are forming. Have fun of those seven input recipes, right? And uh, Junior, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh wait, where's our construction ship? Uh, why are we still flying? Oh, it's like we're flying at full speed even though we're there already. It's even worse than I thought. Um, Ion Hauler 11, please set your target to construction ship. I should have done that sooner. Wait, what's our current target? Corsol Orbit. Okay. And... Now we're here. I think that was wasting fuel at full speed as well, even though we were barely moving. Alright, board hauler 11... And drop a little fuel in here, and that's all it takes. I really don't know why sometimes we have an inserter not do its job um, to take up a used fuel cell out when the accumulator charge drops below like 75%. Should have far more than enough time before it runs out of power. 
All right, let's go back to our ship, and I think we can send this one home right now. Back to Hagen Orbit. Ion Hauler 11, back to Fossil Orbit. And off you go. Fantastic. It's especially confusing considering the lasers barely ever do anything at these speeds. Oh well. Make sure that's switched off. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we need some test input. Let's give ourselves some regular Logibots, and I'm just going to throw in an aggregate passive provider chest. Uh, except that's going to include the free satellites. We can probably assume that that part works, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so... So, so, so. Hmm. Oh, I've got a much easier way to do this. We're going to set filters blacklist. Uh, and we're going to output navigation satellite on the blacklist. As long as the timer is less than 60 ticks. Seems good. I should probably make it a bit longer, um, especially with... Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, we can make it like 10 seconds or something. It's still going to be more than enough. Oh. Oh, there goes our blacklist of satellite disappearing. And it came back. Oh, because it put satellites in. Wait, it only put one satellite in here. What the hell? These weren't in sync, that's why. Wait, what? What? Where did... What? How? What just happened? So this one's got a head start. Okay. These two are halfway there. This one's about to finish. Every time one of... Any time any of these inserters swing, it resets the timer. We have to get to 10 seconds before we take the navsat off the blacklist. Also, for just one tick at a time, uh, it's going to blacklist whatever we're picking up with these inserters, but that's not actually going to cause any issues. What? Wait, what? Why? Weren't you blacklisted? What? Would you... Why are you like this? They can't put the satellites in early, right? 
Also, I guess this doesn't have to be a long arm anymore. Okay, they're kind of a little bit out of sync. That's good for testing. Almost there. All right, what happens? We got a blacklist for satellite. Oh, I guess... Hmm. Okay, the blacklist for the satellite is going to disappear on all of three of these at the same time, right? But I'm guessing this inserter is still able to put this in first. Like the uh, the slot for this is going to be yeah 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 yeah. So we need the timer to be longer. Ten seconds wasn't en enough. All right, um, we'll put it to like a hundred seconds. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, a hundred seconds, six thousand ticks. And we can trim it down a bit. What are we up to? 1.2k? They seem to have all emerged. Okay, six thousand is a bit much. How about two thousand? And go. That's what we want to see. Beautiful. Let's replicate it over this side. And... I don't think there's any way to cut this down at all. Does this reach over here? That would be very convenient. Oh, are you kidding me? One off? I have an idea. Here, here, here. And then... I actually need... This green wire to reach over here. That might be a problem. That might be a big problem. Actually. Let's flip this around. I'm pretty sure I can't... Oh, wow, somehow that reaches. Okay. Okay, okay. Fantastic. And this can go here. Or here. Cool. So obviously these things are... What? Uh, okay. They're preparing very much out of sync, but... Our timer is only now at 1,000. So we could probably set that to like 12,000. Where is it? If T is less than... Oh, sorry, 1,200. Launch it. Thank you, Inri Inri. For the applause drowned out by the rockets. Um, we're going to need LTN to know what's in all of these chests. And I just realized I'm going to be better off annually connecting these because 
All the filters are there already. Probably want to know what's already in here. Seems good. It actually looks kind of neat. Let's get some more... some rail in here. It's actually kind of cool that they're all reaching 100% prepared out of sync, but then, then they're all launching together. Very nice. Maybe... Maybe I can let the bots do this part. Maybe that's too much. How fast do we consume it? 1.75 per second? Do you suppose this might be a little bit overkill? It's fine. It looks cool, that's the important thing. Wait, 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 wait. Um... I think this thing does launch if its output thing is full, right? Which means... Hmm. I could add something like... If telemetry data here is full, blacklist one of the items that we need to launch our rockets. Probably anything but solid rocket fuel. If telemetry equals 2400, maybe make it a little bit less. If it's greater than 2000, that's kind of loud. Pew. Uh, output heat shielding one, and that way we won't put the heat shielding in and we won't launch any more rockets. That's the idea anyway. Yep. Cool. Easy as that. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna have to make a build for 
automation cores somewhere. I think the rest of this is just going to work. It just works. Oh boy, the station name. That's going to be fun. Uh, so this one is requesting... Electric furnace speed module and... Uh, blank. Blank tech card. We obviously don't need any fluids. Long trains only. Request stack threshold 100. Seems good to me. Overall rate of consumption for these things is... Well below 45 per second, even when we've got tier 9 modules. And... Furnace. Wait, I can copy it from from Hagen. Do a little edit. It's gonna be a bit easier. Eight thousand. That's probably from when we had smaller trains. That's a hundred and sixty stacks. Okay, let's do one point five train loads. Seven thousand five hundred. No telemetry. 32k tech cards. We want 30,000. And then... Advanced. Assembly machine. I like how we never actually used our first iteration of that build. Oh well. It's a fine. I need to go get the deconstruction train to start tearing up the old stuff there. We can probably leave that train where it is, though. Hmm. Maybe I could push all of that back. Oh, there was something I needed to do personally. Let's go downstairs. Our train's not here. I think it was not this one. That just needs to be set filters blacklist. And no stack limit. Mojo D, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? A koala that plays games. Beautiful. I think I have seen this movie about World War Three, but all the middles launched from farm fields? Uh-oh. Ruh -roh. I, I guess I'll have the construction train go back. Wait, what is this doing here still? Oh no. There's no construction bots in here, right? No, we're good. This looks like a job for decon train. No choo choo. Always fun when T Hacks plays with trains. Oh no. Uh, where am I? Down we go. Wait, no, what, it's not downstairs. No, let me click on you. Uh, it was here somewhere, right? What was that thing I needed to fix personally? Oh, it was the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the, uh... 
the secure canisters that ended up in the wrong container. Let's head over here. And then back to the mall, please. Always hilarious when you place a train and another train runs it over. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's grab these and... Oops, not the scrap, please. Not the scrap, please. Let's put this where it belongs. Is that all of them? Already? I missed one filter here, that's why this happened. Looks good to me. And we're back to making canisters. With our sushi. My worst was when I decided to ghost a new train on a main deck. Uh, main track thinking, it's fine, there's a big gap. Boss was slow. Oh no. Rest in peace, train friends. Sushi go burr. And... This is by far the simplest sushi machine you could possibly come up with. We're simply giving it one quarter of each of these by merging it and recycling over here. Okay, um, back to the mall with us. There were few wagons exploded and some new were attached to the passing train. <laughs> oh no. Did the train run off with them? Or did it stop once it was given another uh like a new piece attached to it all right i need to do the ltn requests for this stuff it's only going to be one vanilla train ever picking this up so we don't need any like train limit or ltn or logic or anything here um we don't need those signals either And I need to do freaking one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. I need to do twelve LTN requests over here. Good gravy. So we're gonna go for just like a train load and a half for each. First is advanced circuits. Um three hundred hundred. Small electric, 7,500 I think, yep, 150 stacks, uh, automation cores, which I still need to do a build for, or just make them all do it. I suppose we could just... How many do we need? Hardly any, right? Mm. If I put this thing under beacon, which I kind of should have done already. Uh, there's no room. Oh no. Uh, you know what? We're not using the old rocket silo. Let's get rid of it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm never using that again. Then... God damn it. Move this guy over here. 
Uh, and I want to make sure that we get... What was it? 150 stacks. Of... Automation cores? So, 7,500, right? Yes. Make it 8,000. Uh, and that way it'll automatically get supplied to LTN. And I'm pretty sure the demand for these are low enough that this might actually be enough. Okay. It actually makes two per recipe. Now then. So that's automation cores handled. Um, stone brick. Steel plate, same thing. Wait, that's not right, that's one train load. Uh, solar panels. Solar panels. And may as well put accumulators next to those. And then all the stuff that we need for you know what I kind of want to put the the rocket silo stuff down here and everything else up here so I'm gonna make a little exception to how we usually do this okay so it's um heat shield LDS rocket control unit rocket fuel Seventy five hundred. This one is fifteen hundred. Wait, that doesn't sound right. No, it might be one hundred and fifty stacks. Perfect. That looks about right. might want to put the RoboPort... Well, it needs to be able to reach all these. This guy's kind of in the way. I don't want this spilling over into another block. I could always move these, like, down a bit or something. I'm pretty sure it's not that big of a deal. Especially with the throughput that we need. Oh, this is one off anyway? I see how it is. Uh, no. I could just move all the silos up a little bit. We can even pick a dollies them. Robocourt goes here. Perfect. Beautiful. Seems good. In fact, we don't need to have inserters for this. We don't need any smarts on them. I think that's our build. It's 
station name. That's going to be a nightmare. This one's done. This one's done. Oh, uh, I kind of want to put that in the middle. If we can. Seems good. And I guess I could put this guy up here. No, I couldn't. Never mind. Train was switched to manual by the new piece. That Yeah, that's about what I would have thought. It did coast for a bit. Oh no. That's not how loaders work? What do you mean? Oh. No, you're right. It's a... It's a Rising. 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 Mm. Um, Alright, fine, we'll do the frickin' station name. Can I, like, mouse over these while I'm doing it? Okay, it's not as- it's not gonna be as bad as all that. Event circuit... Small electric or uh, brick steel. Solar and accumulator. I remember having to do a huge build for solar panels, like regular solar panels, eventually in the last playthrough, so it's not that onerous to have to do it now. Glass, and... Heat Shield LDS. Good grief, this is a lot. Rocket Control Unit, and... Solid Rocket Fuel. The most... Concise station name. How about no, actually? <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, how about... We just say... Everything requester for... Silo. That's a bit better. And we're making telemetry. Yeah, I think that's a bit more readable, you know? That's some hieroglyphics that you can grok with a glance. Um, these could obviously go here. That looks a little better, I think. Alright, let's build this sucker. Except... Um, I would like to make it with... Well, I could use prod sixes for this. We, we do have them. It's not a whole lot of prod modules. And I could maybe even use some tier 6 speeds and such over here. Not how do I... How many efficiencies do we need when it comes to tier 6, I wonder? Plus 860%. And this will be minus 100, minus 500. So this is like one more, right? No? Wait, what? Plus 560%. Did I not just change this? Plus 260%. 
minus 80%. That should have been the last one. Yeah, that's minus 40. Alright, that's fine. Wait, no, wrong way. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and I think I'll just remove most of these for now. So we've got a very clear upgrade path here if we ever desire it. That's already 3.2 rocket tech cards per second. Which should be able to keep up with our science upstairs, I think. Um, so these are all tier 6 prods. Fantastic. We only need a tier 3 efficiency over here. And I think that's our blueprint. Rocket tech card. With advanced stuff. And... Forget the tiles, we'll play around with that in a sec. Besides which, I wouldn't want to include it in the blueprint. Do we still have any cheat items? I don't think so. Alright, where should I put this? Science, of course. That makes sense. All right. Oh yeah, I wanted to go over here personally as well. Let's do that. Away we go. Why are we down to 38 now? Bruh. How's our outpost looking? Plato. Did you come back from Plato? No, you head for Stromhurst. It's full. It's got lots of spell evader cables. This is a good sign. Are our ships all working properly? Looks like it. Oh, in fact, that's Holmanite core fragments. This probably came from Plato. Cool, cool, cool. So that's saturated, um, at least for the moment. Do we have our core fragments down here being saturated? No, I think we need another train for that. Most likely. And this would be a really good place to invest tier 6 modules. Which I should probably switch back on. Perhaps. Here come our trains. Oh, apparently we've got heavy bearings lying around. And hold me in plate. That's a very good sign. Oh yeah, I wanted to shorten this train again. Do I though? Yeah, make it fast. Oops. Connect it. There we go. Seems good. Wait, let me see that schedule. And oh, that looks right. Okay. What are we doing? Decon train. I have a mission for you. Actually, full and empty. 
do not want you to move. Oh, this is a temp stop. What am I doing? Right. Deconstruct. Never even put prod modules into this thing. Well, we never even produced anything here, so it doesn't actually matter. Let's get rid of the old power poles. And I should not jump into the editor while I've got bots flying around. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, dump it in here, dump it in here, that fills up in a hurry. Okay, get in my belly please. Also, give these back. Need to rebalance these as well. can jump to the editor. Um, it's probably going to be reinforced black plate. Yeah, no matter how many times I try it, I never like the look of that one. Reinforced concrete. Not the worst, but no thank you. Regular concrete. And... Stone brick. Maybe I should paint it with some hazard concrete as well. I'd have to really go out of my way, but this build's a little special. We can't put space platform plating on the ground, can we? I don't think so. I think I tried it already. I can put spaceship floor there if I'm really committed to the bit of um, of doing some fancy floor stuff. That actually looks not bad. Hmm. This one's different though. about regular it's about the same in that context doing. That actually looks kind of weird when we zoom out. I'll think about it. Anyway, uh, let's get that blueprint placed. Need to get rid of this. And the 
that's it. Shift C isn't putting them in there. Okay. Uh, let's put this here. Is that all of them? I think it is. Nope. Cool. Finally dump all this back in here. Uh, am I holding any tech cards? I don't think so. And just double check. That's all that's in here. Cool, cool, cool. Now we need six satellite rocket silos. I don't think we have any lying around here. Okay. I want to make exactly six of these because I don't want uh, unnecessary stuff lying around forevermore, especially if it's something that we know exactly how much we need of. Oh, I'm not even carrying a wide area beacon right now. Alright, you may go. And... Where's our construction train? I left it parked over here. I thought I set that to, like, inactivity or something. Okay. It's not carrying core fragments or anything. Nope. Back you go to the train loader, and then over here, please. And how many of these have we built? Zero. That's a lot of inserter swings. surprisingly fast. Maybe I should go give him a hand. Where's our construction train? It's currently getting reloaded. Fantastic. How's this thing working out? I see empty slots, that's good. It's not getting clogged up. And wasn't I going to make a... Probably two more Holmium Core Fragment trains? Where is it? No, I don't think we need those. Huh. Interesting. I should tra change this to like an arithmetic and add a constant combinator. Because I want it to be like. What is it, 2000? Train limit is 2,000, uh, core fragments divided by 2,000 plus 1. 
So we'll always have at least one train sitting here to pick up the core fragments. Because it, it doesn't really have to... The only reason we have them go to a depot stop is so that they never clog up the elevator. Factorio BB, indeed. Del Water Drop, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. That's a lot of trains, indeed it is. Um, but yeah, we don't seem to have a bottleneck of trains for the Formanite Core Fragments right now. So where is the bottleneck? Why aren't we bringing... Why aren't we bringing Holmanite Core Fragments home? Uh, how many spaceships do we have? Only a handful parked at Hagen Orbit right now. In fact, two. Literally two. And that includes the one that's always... Like, there's always one parked here until this gets taken away. So, all of our ships are active. Are any of them out of fuel or something? Let's check them. Um, sort by name, I guess. Even though it doesn't sort it properly. Iron Hauler 1 is moving. This guy's landed. There's a train on Hagen that's out of fuel, apparently. And it's gone. What? What is this? Who's the prankster? We had this yesterday. I saw a notification that a train was out of fuel on Hagen. Uh, and then it immediately disappeared when I went to try to look at it. Um, anyway. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. You are... Waiting to land at Stromhurst Orbit. There's at least two ships waiting to land here. And this guy refuses to leave. Why? It's like 99% full. What? Why are the bots not delivering, like, six more core fragments here? Someone want to explain that to me? Core fragment 5,000. It has 5,000. Wasn't this supposed to be 5,070? What? Okay, how many do we actually have? We've got 253 stacks, plus 14. Five thousand and seventy-four. Okay. If core fragment greater than S, it's slightly below. Why are there Holmanite core fragments in here? Ah. Uh... Well, there's your problem. Why did you take off with Holmanite core fragments? Why would this happen one time out of thousands of hours? Launch. If I had to do it over again, I would definitely do generic drop-offs. Wait, is this 14? No, it's 17. It's not the same one that went back and forth earlier. It was between the wrong two orbits anyway. Okay, guess what? Um, you are gonna go to the generic drop-off. 
The one that's supposed to catch a bug when a ship randomly relaunches. Don't you have a spider on Hagen for maintenance works? What do you mean? Oh, is that the thing that's out of fuel? But it... Why am I not seeing the notification for it down here? Oh, I bet I know. Hagen Orbit... No? My guess was going to be that there's always a notification for out of fuel and we've got too many notifications. Um... But that's not what's happening. I don't know if the Spidertron does trigger a notification down here. But that could be it. Okay, what do we got? One... Yep, make sure you put double of everything else in before you put in the thing that we're short on. That is really slow. Can I... move this over? Two. Th Thorpehel? Thorpehel? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think our construction train's been here. Did we update all the stations and stuff? I think so. Except for... This doesn't need to be an LTN stop. Oh, and it goes in the middle here. Um, okay, good, good job, but you can wait just a little bit first. There we go. And I might just borrow this train as a taxi. Because we know exactly where it's coming back to. It's a lot of trains, indeed. Green, welcome in. Okay, I think we're up to... Well, let me just make a request for them. Silo. We need six. There's two on the way. This makes three. Why... Why, why are inserters like this? There we go, finally. That's five, and this one makes six. Since that machine gets started. Get it out of here. Not my bots, please. It's always amazing how I struggle to finish the vanilla and then I see people playing these bots. <laughs> Gotta continue the struggle, right? Like, Ooh, that's a lot of Holmium cable. Oh yeah! That would have been consuming Holmium for a while, just filling up, uh, like saturating that whole thing. So I wonder if we're actually doing better than I thought for resources for the moment. Alright, it is done. Uh, and I forgot the supply logy box over here. And this is looking very full. Wait, did we actually have enough storage between all of this for these things? We've got 640 plus 
48 times 4. Uh, 832 stacks. And we did 150 times... 12. Is 1800 stacks of stuff. Oh, I know we're missing automation cores at the very least. Let's turn this off for a sec. Before I, until I go get the boss. Be easier to just supply them manually. Also, I should go take these core fragments to get to get done. Wherefore art thou logibugs? Well, the ones in system are all flying around. Uh, where are the ones in a chest? Right next to me, actually. Right where they're supposed to be. In a playthrough this long, uh, it's kind of like things were built by someone else. Someone who has a lot of stuff in common with you in the somewhat near past. Why did I see red text from our crafting combinators just now? It's probably saying overflow chest is f No? Overflow chest is not full. Why is this guy still here? Oh, that needs fixing. We're just gonna go... Thirty-seven thousand. Oh, because this was supposed to be limited, and I forgot that I put these processing units here. Whoops. I don't particularly want to do a rebalance because it'll spill on the floor. And this will sort itself out eventually. Okay. Oop. Went too far. We're definitely going to do black plate over here. Nice soup. Train above Holmium cables was red texting. Yeah, I believe it was the crafting combinators that were giving us red text. But I'm not sure why. Everything seems to be working here. Well, that's a pretty good rate of processing units. It's also a pretty good rate of consumption of uh, Holmium Plate, which we've been short on previously. Now, what did I come back here for? Oh, the bots. Right. Right, right, right. Why do we have construction bots in this thing? Logi bots are very, very efficient when it comes to short distances. Nice. I think we can switch that back on now. I need to do solar panel and accumulator builds. 
Solar panel goes into navigation sat, which we do here. Uh, space capsule, which we're doing away with. Portable solar panel and advanced solar panel. I think I did the solar panel build up here, actually. Yeah. So, do we not... Uh, I'm guessing the solar panel, like the base model, uh, we don't actually put directly into any of the big satellites, the probes, like we did without K2. I could have sworn there was something else. Last playthrough. This only wants 10 flat Remind solar panels. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. What do you mean? What are we being confident about? Hmm. I could just get them all to do these two things as well. Glass will find its way here. Um... Solar panels and accumulators. We already caught up with the, um... With the automation cores. Wait, no we didn't. 4.2k, we need... 150 stacks, 7.5k to trigger a delivery. Solar panels and accumulators can't be... Rod module blue, right? I'm... 97% sure of that. Yeah, so let's just get them all to do it. Which we probably already are doing. We just need... Quite a few more. And where's the signal for accumulators, I wonder? We can search for it. Takes a bit longer to search for signals, though. Because we got a lot of combinators. Alright. Here it is. What are these other ones? That makes sense. And that makes sense. Okay. I think I'll move this. Emulator. 8,000. Zero Shadow, welcome in. Do you need another RoboPort to charge these Logibots? I don't think we're going to need that overall, like once things have settled down a little bit. So why are we not getting glass? Last 30,000. That's 150 stacks. Are we short on glass? I'd be very surprised at this moment. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are. We haven't got... Okay, let, let's go do some... Let's go do some module improvements up there. In fact, why don't I very quickly slap together... A glass build. Because we've got advanced furnaces now. Oh, we can do it with pyroflux. That actually probably makes a ton of sense now. 24 glass for 32 sand. As opposed to 8 for 16. So it costs 2 to make 1. And this is like, it costs uh, 1.5 to make 1. But we also pay... 10 Pyroflux might be a lot? Hmm. We seem to be swimming in Pyroflux though, so... 
I'm actually not that worried about it. We get a little bit from every single core fragment we process because other core fragments give us vanilla core fragments, give us pyroflux. And we actually had to double our uh, vanilla core fragment processing recently. Which seems to have been sufficient for a while. Fantastic. Where did I put it? Here it is. It's currently mostly active, or at least partly active. Um, but yeah, we're kind of swimming in Pyroflux, so we'll give it a try. And we can always switch it back or something. I might borrow from... This build, actually. Oh, this outputs a, a fluid, though. Do I have another... Wasn't I going to use something else to turn holmium ingots, for example, into molten into holmium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need spaceship floor down here so I can use um, thermal facilities. I'm just going to put a little to-do over here. What was I looking for? This build doesn't line up the same way I was hoping. Alright. We need a wide area bacon. And since we're actually short on glass at the moment, I think this would be another good place to spend some of our precious tier 6s. too many. Clearly. Rod 6. Um, I reflex glass. Now how should we go about it? Maybe easier to do... Well, it's one solid in, one solid out, and then just one fluid in. It should be pretty easy either way. And it'll be as easy either way. How fast would this be? More than a stack of glass per second. You know what? Let's let's go ahead. We'll do the fluid this way. And then we should have just enough room. Oof. Oof, owie. Okay then. Um, put them a little closer together. And... One, two, three. So this is 99 sand in per column. That's kind of rough. It's also too much glass out for one belt. Uh, um, I'm not going to cram in more belts to try and make that work. How many would it take for this to fit under one belt? Uh, we could do four machines vertically. Also, that doesn't line up. That is a lot of glass. That's the idea. Don't want to have to do this again. 
Oh, we should really balance it for tier nines and roll it back to tier, uh, tier six or whatever we want to build it as for now. I'll keep that. Also, I didn't double check the um, the power consumption there. Now that I think of it, so that's negative eighty percent. That's too much. And what's our rate now per column? 96 glass out. We're going to be bottlenecked on the output belts. Four purple belts of glass? Seems okay to me. Can we fit that? First of all, let's figure out where our pipes go. I could probably do something where we bring this in from the outside, make the beacon fit. And then individually these machines want 16 sand per second. Loaders are probably a good idea. Can we even do this? See. And input. Maybe like that. Can I just... Nope. Maybe. This isn't working. I think we need more space. If we're going to do a full belt in, a full belt out. Unless the inserters can keep up with it. 24 per second out. Hmm. With direct insertion, uh, the inserters can do 43.2 per second. But since we're putting onto a belt, it's going to be slower. But with purple belt, it's pr probably not that bad. Let's just try this with the traditional belt layout, actually. And my reflux. And then we need input belt. Actually, which is faster? Output is faster. So swap those around. It also makes it a bit neater to do the output down like this. I love superior long inserters. Alright, sand and sand. You could have an extra output at the bottom most machines, and why not move the pipe between the columns? Uh, I, I was going to put the pipe between the columns to begin with, but there isn't quite enough room horizontally. Unless maybe, how many is this? 16. If we made this longer, we could go 4, 5, 6, 12. No, I don't like that. Uh, and obviously we want half of these to do the near side. So two machines outputting to one half belt. Well, it, it, they're going to saturate it. Oh, that's all the more reason that we don't want to do inserters for output. 
because they'll never fully saturate unless you have like a an empty lane that merges kind of thing. Hmm. Can I do inserters to insert and loaders to output? That might be a lot easier, actually. Uh, maybe. And then we could just... Have some undergrounds like this. That's actually in the wrong spot. Well, it'll work anyway. How about that? For a more consistent look. And then... Delete the output. So this is 96 glass per second. Um, it should, in theory, be able to saturate that belt. It's coming out like 24 at a time though, from each machine. But it seems to be working out. Yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. I don't think we can fit that in the middle, though. We had space for double inserters, though? No, it's not... Um, the problem is... Inserters looking for a spot on a mostly full belt end up being effectively way slower and they never quite fill all the gaps so what you need is something like to merge it in like that preferably with priority yeah I've done the math like and, you know, had a build that was supposed to precisely or even more than fill a belt before. Uh, and then it was just that the inserters trying to put onto the belt weren't quite doing their job. Now, if we try to combine them, that's obviously way too much per belt over here. Maybe we do need... How long does this go? Really long. What if instead we had input like this How much do we need between these two? 128 per second, so two belts. Something like this. Did that just output on me? So that's our input for the outside ones. And then... I don't think that even helps. Also, this is at our limit, if we want to be able to fit something on that side. Hmm. Hmm. There's got to be a way. Probably. Maybe. Oh, I know. Try it over here, since I don't want to mess with this, in case I end up using some of it. 
We've got some vertical space. We've got plenty of vertical space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably how we'll make this happen. What is that sound? Uh, I'm guessing you guys can't hear that. As long as you can't hear it, it should be fine. Alright, so maybe we use something similar over here, but... Um... But what? How much do we need? 128 sand per second in total, so like two belts. That's for the whole thing. So just this. In which case... We could do something like that. And this one would go here. And then we just do the same thing that we did back here. And why is that off center? Probably do it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can your trains feed that build fast enough? Um... Yeah, I'd say so. It's only like one and a bit stacks of sand per st uh, per second. Two stacks of glass per second come out. Yeah, that looks kind of good, honestly. So we can obviously bring this a bit closer together. I want it to be as close to symmetrical as possible. Over here. Perfect. It actually looks kind of neat. And then, then we do the, the mergey thing. I think we can, if only output is in the middle. We should be able to... Just barely. So if this goes here, except we need to merge that in from here. Wait, why is this a splitter? Wait, what? No, that goes there. Okay. So far, so good. Can we make this part work? That would have to go here. And that would have to go here. And then this just goes through here. And that's it. think. Um, I can't actually flip this, can I? 
can flip this much. And these go here. And I think we're in business. And then we probably don't need to, but I could do the same thing for the output on the other sides. Uh, if only to make it look consistent. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So this consumes uh, like one and a quarter stacks of sand per second. Only 80 pyroflux. Well, that's actually a lot for pyroflux. And it spits out almost two stacks of glass per second. Very nice. Now let's build it. Or finish the build first. And then I'll have to... We'll see what we're going to get with our tier 6 modules. Bulk rail unloader. We obviously only need sand and pyroflux. I think we can just take from these directly and don't worry about balancing. Because the pyroflux is obviously going to rebalance itself. Oops. Hmm, how much is this? 128 per second. What's it going to be with our tier 6 modules? Because I might want to just... Wait, how far does the blue underground reach? Far enough. Probably. Uh, it's one tile short. Uh, whatever. Use the purples. That way I won't have to remember to upgrade it later on anyway, except for the modules. Alright, we are looking for sand. How about... Free train loads. Um, I really don't want to have to... Wanna, don't want to be running out of sand. And the usual amount of Pyroflux. We're going to put a huge storage tank right about here. I guess technically... Nah, this is fine. Oops. And then... And then nothing, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, we needed our prod modules. Tier 6. And then... Speed. And then... Efficiency. Plus a thousand percent. Plus four hundred. Plus one hundred. So this must be negative eighty. Cool, cool, cool. That actually looks really cool. 
I like it. Now let's just double check that it works. And Pyroflux. And of course we'll need to do our pipes. That one lines up rather well. I guess this can go here. And this goes over here. Yeah, that wouldn't have lined up well if I had another one there. Cool, cool, cool. So our rate is a little bit different now. What do we get? Almost one stack of glass per second, and we need less than one stack of sand per second. Nasal? I think I know how I want to do this part. What if I have these two go straight like this? This one goes over here. And then this one goes... Uh, that's not quite right. That's not quite right. Over here. Still not quite right. There we go. And if we have four, uh, four belts coming in, then two belts pushing to the front will definitely be enough. Since the stack size is 200, uh, 180 items per second is less than one stack. But the train takes longer to load up. 200 stack size items. I'll just try setting it somewhere like here. See how that goes. Standard pickup. Provide stack threshold 100. Short trains permitted. Last go burr. And I guess I'm ac uh, accidentally including the prod sixes in the build. It's fine. Because this is definitely what I want to build right now. Loss. Oh, advanced furnace. Uh, train stop names here, yes. don't worry about the tiles. 86251. And don't forget to remove the cheat items. And that should be it. Some kind of production. Where's glass? I honestly don't know. Components? I don't really think of glass as a component. Here it is, basic glass. I need to reorganize these. Yeah, I kind of like that waterfall look. Okay. So first of all, we're going to cut off... Cut off our sand input. How much is our current uh, reaper since it's a double block? Way slower than what we're going to have from half a block, even with the tier 6 modules. Speaking of which, let's go grab some more because I think we're going to be needing them. Uh, 
where are we going? Over here. It's already pretty much cleared up. Fantastic. Actually... Oh. Let's uh, allow this to fill up. I want that glass out of here. Or sand, rather. Boop. Hundred and fifty three sand per second. So less than one stack per second. We've got twenty, forty, eighty stacks. We're looking at a few minutes before this empties. Uh it doesn't have wide area beacons though. Isn't that cute? I still don't have wide area beacons. Construction train, I choose you. Here it comes. Give me those beacons. Give me, give me, give me those beacons. Whoops. You know what? Just, just hurry it up. Get out of here. Shouldn't last too long now. Holy... Uh... A thousand sand per second can be consumed by this in theory. Uh, we're very much bottlenecking on... The belts now. Or at least... Oh, it's probably the output belt. Yeah... What is it? The, the output belt or the inserters? I think it's... Mostly the belt. I don't want the bots picking these up. And hovering over the train with them. I don't have any more, actually. Alright, we almost emptied the sand. Uh, kind of. Let's go ahead and put some nice dark plate here. Fantastic. Nice running speed on this as well. Oh, is this actually full? No. Uh, it's bottlenecking on like a half belt. Hmm. 
Oh, we're almost out of sand here. It's fine. This is fine. We're going to end up with so much crap with the bots hovering, but what are you going to do? I don't think we really need this side for the foreseeable future. Might need power though. Oh, I know what I can do. Nope, never mind. Wasn't quite expecting that. And ship C. All the furnaces on for like a second. Can we just make all of this purple for a bit? Or do we not have enough? going to cause one of those loops of bots jumping back into the train and the train resetting. But it's probably easier than the alternative. There they go. <laughs> Is actually empty? Oh, it is. Wait, this one's still outputting. Alright, we good now? No, don't put the glass back in the machines. Oh, no. Not what I had in mind. As a matter of fact. Okay. And now... We dismantle. No, not you. Ugh. You know what? Just... Go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. There we go. Poor train got a 10 minute timeout. <laughs> Indeed. Alright. I think we are just about ready. Let's grab our blueprint. And there's already a train trying to come here. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. All right, you may go. Construction trains almost ready, I think. Am 
might have to make a couple of trips for the purple belt. We'll see. Do you have advanced furnaces? Dost thou carry? Yes, you do. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Cargo rocket silos. I don't think we need to worry about carrying those as a matter of course at this stage. Coronal mass ejection headed for Hagen orbit in five minutes. Well then, didn't see that coming. I mean, I guess we did, but not very far into the future. Um, where are we? Energy beams. Wait, 44 gigawatt peak power. Do you think we're going to manage it? Where is my umbrella up here? Here it is. Star she blows. And here's our new glass build. We already got Pyroflux. And here comes the sand, I think. Yes. Yes, indeed. I'm pretty sure our sand isn't going to be able to keep up with it. As it is right now. 158 per second. That's about the same as this consumes, isn't it? 145. Huh. Technically it can keep up. Maybe I should do a sand build right here so that it can supply it directly. Oh, we've even got some handy inputs right here. I could move this a little bit. Yeah, why not? I'm guessing... Uh... I'm guessing pulverizers are still our best bet for making sand. There's so many ways to make it though. Uh, let's see. Mech facility is just a pulverizer in space. We obviously don't want to be using the crushers. That's a byproduct, 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 by, 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 product. Okay. Yeah, there's really only one option here, but depending on how many prods I've got left, quite a few. Uh, I think we will... Well, let me jump into the editor. Pulverizer. How many prods does this use? It uses four. So probably maybe a different layout for the beacon. I don't care if the ratio is a bit different, because I want this to supply to the rail network as well. Uh, and I very much doubt we're going to be able to make this as dense as possible with the machines, because... Well, we're going to build it for tier 9 prods first of all. Tier 9 everything. Negative 80% and plus 300. Okay. So how much does this column... Oh yeah, casual 567 sand per second. From 126 stone per second. I think we should do priority input. In fact... Well, I, I can always leave this here, but maybe we'll end up... Not delivering sand to this thing. No, we get sand from byproducts, so we definitely want to drop it off. In which case, if anything, I should probably have priority input from the train stations. Definitely. Definitely. Alright. Input priority... right. Input priority... left. 
and do something like this. Let's see. What's the neatest way to do this part? Hmm. I mean, I could always have this go up here, this go underground and over here. I don't love the look of that, though. Um, we can always turn this over this way. That seems better. Seems good. So, 126 stone per second is more than one purple belt. 567 sand per second is the real problem. That's uh, more than six belts. Holy... What, really? More than one belt from each machine? Uh, that's more than I was expecting. Yeah, I was not expecting more than one purple belt from each machine. That is something else. Okay, so this is a little bit less than one purple belt of input f and uh, 380. It's more than four belts of output. Which we knew that already, actually. Uh, I think we'll just... I think we'll just... Do it like this. And what, what am I doing? Uh, we can output to the rail network. Which we're going to have to make sure brains don't deliver from here to here. So that's going to be encoded network ID 1. And that's going to be encoded network ID 2. That basically makes those two stations incompatible. Um, hmm. I kind of want to... I kind of want to belt this straight into here and do the same thing on the opposite side. And then... read the contents of these chests as well. Oh, can this reach? Nope, that would be too easy. This does, but it's on the wrong side. If the train has priority, will the connection between the half block ever be used? What prevents the train from going from half block to other... Uh, it's not going to have priority. What prevents... hold on. What prevents the train from going from this half block to this half block? That's the encoded network IDs. Uh, so this is in binary, so like... One represents the first bit, two represents the second bit, four represents the third bit, and so on. And if I do like seven, it's... Um, uh, what is it? Four plus... Four plus two plus one? So that would be all three of them. Um, 
so I've got these two as encoded network ID 2 and encoded network ID 1. If I wanted a station that could interact with both of them, uh, I would do like encoded network ID 3. That's binary that the first bit plus the second bit. WC felt. <laughs> Error could not find any commit. Okay. Blaz, welcome in. Was it Blaz's question I was trying to answer? Yes. Fantastic. We go, welcome in also. Uh, but yeah, I'm basically also going to have... Maybe I'll have another container up here. Glass is very important. So the big idea is... Same thing on the opposite side. And then like this. And like this. And probably like this. The only thing is, I would need some arbitrary wire connections, like power poles or something, to let LTN know how much is available. Because unless unless I've run everything through a massive balancer, one, two, three, four, five. Isn't glass, like, most of our sand consumption, though? What does sand go into? Concrete. Glass. Wood. Wood. Landfill. Other glass. A little bit of sand goes into... Particle stream. Vitamelange bloom. Pyroflux. Huh. We send sand to make pyroflux, and we bring pyroflux, pyroflux back to consume sand. A little bit for these ingots. Quartz. Okay, I think... I think it's probably okay if... Well, especially with how fast these belts are, if we just limit each of these to one cargo wagon each... We probably don't have to be able to schedule multiple trains to pick up the sand at the same time. Because the bulk of sand consumption is going to be from glass. I think. Pro probably. Maybe. It's also stack size 200, so it doesn't fill up that quickly. We're bottlenecking it... Uh, to 183, 60, 720 per second, actually. It's a belt bottleneck. Let's say that we're not making glass. 720 per second. That's less than four stacks per second. So we'd have, like, uh... Like, 20... Well, no, there's sand in here and here. So then we just... Yeah, we're, we're going to have, like, eight purple belts. 
That is 720 per second, you dub. Um, 200 times 100. It's going to take 27.8 seconds to fill the next train load. That's the thing, though. I think I do want LT LTN to be able to schedule more than one train at a time for this. Okay. Big container. Wait a sec. It's going to be awkward, isn't, isn't it? How about a 4x4 four four again? 1, 2... Actually, 1, 2. And then... Just like this. And I th think we would have to... Do it a little bit like this. Oh no, that kind of looks like something. A squid. Don't worry about it. Just gave me an idea all of the processes that give out... All of the processes... Yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. All of the processes that give out excess sand I should just put onto a train and send it to make glass or concrete. Nice. Unfortunate Watcher, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna make sure... that that... very common pattern that shows up in games like this naturally that was ruined for everyone uh, doesn't appear there we go wait that's not that's not gonna work okay 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 it's fine, we got this. Is that gonna look more or less... ...dodgy? Mmm, it's the same thing. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. How about... We want eight belts in total. This is kind of annoying. I have a couple of these here. And... And they can transfer between each other. I don't... that's gonna get... that's gonna be all weird. Hmm... Maybe I'll just... not worry about trains occasionally, theoretically, getting stuck here. I don't think it's gonna happen all that often.
could literally just do something like this as well. Uh, if I got enough outputs from the big container, and preferably if it was symmetrical, that's the same thing that I was just doing. If this one goes... Hold on. If this one goes to here... And then it comes out this way... Should end up looking sufficiently wonky. Right? It's like half of it is backward. It's kind of just in the opposite direction now. Except that this goes up. Hmm. Oh, why don't we do a little crisscross? Hold on. If this goes here... Ooh. I might like where this is going. What's this? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe put that over there for the look of it. So these two go to here, these two go to here, these two go to here, these two go to here. Gotta remember that these things don't actually act as balances. But more or less 50-50 from each side to each side. Seems pretty good to me. It should minimize any issues with the trains anyway. I guess technically that would look more consistent, but no. Oh, let me catch up with the chat. I haven't scrolled down. Going sand mad? What? It passes? This one seems like the place for two 8x8 eight eight balances. Don't want to have to do that. Duven, welcome in. Righty. Come in also. Mr. JJ, good to see you again. Mirror it, and you have a... Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, whoa, the zoom out. That's looking pretty good. Um, let's have a... Stone drop-off. It often surprises me, the builds that turn out to be... Interesting, or a challenge. Like, this is literally one solid in, one solid out, and this is pretty much the same thing. It, it is literally the same thing if we don't use Pyroflux. Um, Alright, so I don't think it matters if... If we balance the stone coming in from the rail network. So I want that to go there. And this one can go over here, I guess.
How much does this consume per second? 21? I don't really want the inserters responsible for that. I do have room to expand this out sideways a bit. Well, more than a little bit of room. Yeah, we, we can go like another tile if we have to, but I don't think we do. Um, because we're just trying to do this. It's just one belt with some splitters. Whoops. I guess if we want to be consistent... That can go there. Uh, this can go down here, that's fine. Alright, let's test this sucker. Stone. And nothing else. Filling more or less evenly. It's about the same as when I put a delivery cannon chest between the two of them. But if we limit both sides of this to one cargo wagon, it should be okay, even though we're telling LTN what's in these storehouses. That's a lot of sand, indeed. That's the idea. I'd like to get this to go to here, this to go to here. But... Mm. You know what? We're doing it. The balancer. So we can have short trains pick up sand if we want. Cool, cool, cool. And that is plenty of storage. Alright. Let's do a request on the stone. That is going to be pretty straightforward. It's only the top left, bottom right stations. Uh, I'll go for like three train loads. 150, 100. Don't forget to tell LTN what's in here. And that one looks fine already. Sand and pyro flux. That's not pyro flux. Goes into advanced furnace. And out comes glass. And then... Quest stone, crusher, or pulverizer rather, out comes lots of sand. Cool. So what kind of rate are we going to get with tier 6 prod modules? Plus two sixty minus forty. It's like three hundred kilowatt each. I could probably allow that. Uh fifty six per machine. Four hundred and forty nine, which is enough to keep up with this quite easily. 
Was that 15k? I think so. Yeah, that's 300 stacks. That's three train loads. We can fit six in these things. I don't want stone, sand, glass to run out. Sand provider. And... You know what? Real quick. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. Alright, blueprint. Uh, let's see. Advance. Oops. Advanced class. And sand. Glass. Sand. Advanced furnace. Pulverizer. Uh, train stop beams, yes. Cheat inputs, no. Eighty-six twenty-five one, and that appears to be our build. Let's build it before we finish today. Okay. Why are we bunking? Remove bottom containers? What do you mean? Oh, these? Easily remedied. Cool, cool, cool. Need to get rid of this bit of rail right here. And away we go. And I'll probably defunct the old sand build. Unless the new ones still can't keep up with the base. Oh, that's a lot of purple bells. Okay. How many are we missing here? More than one stack, more than one stack, and more than one stack. 100, 100, and hopefully we've got room. Why is that set to 150? It stacks to 100. I think we're going to be a little short on space in here. Why is there rail in this one? Bruh. Oh, it's fine. I think I do know why there's rail in there, but it turns out we still had room. It's totally fine. Are we really not getting stone delivered? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is empty too. Good thing I switched it off. These things never got updated. Oh no, looks like it doesn't matter. In my time of dying, thank you the f uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what do we need still? 74 undergrounds. I thought the loader said that the train had the... Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? I'm just going to force a reload. Sand input to glass needs older version removed. Ah, that makes sense. Bonk.
They stole it from us. Wicked Trixie false. What else is in here? Holy crap, that's a lot of random stuff. I should probably add a train stop. To take stuff that doesn't belong here. Uh, out of the robot. Uh, back to the mall, rather. You are missing signals at your station? Which one? Missing signals at your station. Cleanup time, indeed. Scobix, awesome cat, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh, he's coming. Oh, Lord, he coming. Now, why is our stone not coming? 15k. It's 300 stacks. This is switched on. Where be our stone? In storages. Not signals, no! Out of stone? It could be. Wait, don't we have a... Aren't we... Aren't we getting stone from core fragments? What happened to that? Uh... Okay. It's happening, it's just... Slower than I would have thought? Hmm... We've only got, like, basically zero spaceships that are idle. I think I need to go check on all my spaceships. Because if there's a few of them not moving somewhere... I doubt that's the case, but it's possible. Hey, the new outpost is working. Here comes Holmanite. Fantastic. And that means it's keeping supplied with uh, spell elevator cables. And ammo, but I'm more worried about the spell elevator cables. Which are totally saturated right now. That's fan bloody tastic. Absolutely beautiful. Good to see. Did the build finish? It, I believe it did. We just don't get to see it work yet. Um. Oh, here we go. I was about to make it super pri uh, super high priority. But yeah, we do have a train on the way. going all kinds of places to get to its destination, apparently. It's happening! Everybody stay calm. It'll be here in like three seconds. There's our stone. And approximately half of it should go to making glass. We can make like three times what we need to make the glass. So we should get the glass at full speed pretty much straight away, I imagine. Which it looks like that's what's happening. Nice. Fantastic. Oh, that's filling up quick. I mean, we knew this, but still. It's, an, it's another thing entirely to see it actually happen. 
beautiful. Is this guy... Yeah, this guy's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's a lot of glass in the front wagon here. That's not supposed to be like that. There we go. Nice. Alright. That deserves a save, I think. And we'll see who's playing Factorio. Alas, the time has come once more. Time to pass you on to someone else. SE plus K2. Mr. Dane, why not? Thanks, Veldak, for hanging out. Awesome cat, fat boy. Thanks for dropping by. Inri Inri, Blaz, Scobix. And everyone else for that matter. And thank you so much for the applause, fam. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Evil Plum. Uh, check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. See you tomorrow, guys. Because with these underground belts, I can get all the way to... No, no, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't.